How we doing? All right. Amy's down about half a percent in the pre-market. Nothing really going on right now. We have another Amazon outage for some reason. The Amazon AWS is like not going to work today. Uh, Spy's bouncing back up here. I mean, there's not typically when we see these moves in the pre-market, there's like some economic data that's come out. I haven't seen anything. So a little bit of weakness. What's TLT doing? I mean, we're seeing a lot of fear coming out on these media outlets again. Like, oh man, like all this new like variant stuff is freaking out the market a little bit. But I don't know. We've seen some very strong days out of Amy over the past couple of days. Let's see if we can get it going. How are we feeling, people? Let's see. CTRM reverse flow was on 528. That was an interesting. Yeah, I mean, the 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 play on CTRM previously was uh, what do you call it? It had to do with the Baltic Dry Exchange Index, the rates that those shipping companies were be, were going to be able to charge. So it was going to be all fundamentals. If they were going to be able to crank up those rates, they would have made a bunch of money in that quarter. You could have swing traded it, but it ended up not happening. Feeling dangerous, says Nicholas. There you go. All right. Uh, we do also have a little bit of a correction to make. Um, video yesterday when we were looking at these derivatives reports, um, there's something we got to correct. So it's fine. I also got a little consolation for you. So I made a little bit of a mistake. It happens. My bad. Um, when you're looking at these long filings, sometimes you look at the wrong chart. Um, but I do have something else for you guys. That's pretty, pretty interesting that we do need to look at. So we're going to do that as more people filter in, in the pre-market. Let's see here. Um, max pain for this week, still 28. Let's do a little Ortex update here. All right. So we have... 19.21% estimated short interest as a percentage of the free float. Utilization came down a bit, which, I mean, it makes sense with the run from 22 to 30. Um, I would still expect it to start to go up. I mean, we're not seeing anything crazy in the securities lending market today yet. Cost to borrow minimum 1.35%. It, uh, it looks like there's been one loan that's gone out. So these borrowed shares, most likely, has been one loan. Um, so when you see all of the cost borrow minimum average and max be the same in the morning, that's like one bulk, like block of shares that has gone out because the cost to borrow is the same across the board. Uh, days to cover, 2.35. So those bigger volume days are now getting accounted into the days to cover. But again, nothing like nothing like nothing like like nothing's changing. The short interest is still very, very high. Shorts have not covered. We're just seeing a little bit of the data move. Let's see. What's well, good, Shimu? How you doing? Hit the like and support the host, says Jason. Thank you, man. SV, what do you think about Meet Kevin's video on where the hedgies like are like shift lemonade and court? I don't, I haven't seen that. I have not seen that. Let's see here. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Amy, 0.36. Okay. Do you think these stocks have a potential to short squeeze? I mean, we'd have to take a look at the data on them. The problem is, is, uh, and the other thing that we think about is like, yeah, there's going to be like the quote meme stock basket where they're going to, all of these like big institutions are going to be like, oh, we're going to have our basically glorified intern punch a bunch of numbers into the Excel spreadsheet. And it's basically going to give us some numbers that are going to tell us if the stock is overvalued or undervalued. And then we're going to short it. It's not how the market works these days. And we've seen these funds start to close because they're idiots and continue to use these outdated metrics to try to value companies and then invest, invest based off that. It doesn't work. Um, you can you can find certain situations where it does work. But again, if Warren Buffett, the guy who's the best at this of all time, has $150 billion worth of cash because he cannot find somewhere to put that money and he just has to do share buybacks. You kind of know that way of valuing companies and investing is no longer relevant in today's marketplace. So when you go off of that, we're going to see they're going to be shorting all of these companies. So could they squeeze? Yeah, it's really good that we can hit them from all angles on these different stocks because if we were just in one, well, they could still short the absolute bullshit out of the other stocks and make money on those all the way across the board, even if one of them was going to rip. So the fact that we're like a lot of people are like spread out a little bit is actually a good thing. Uh, bullish scenarios for today. I mean, we're still looking for that crack of, of 30, 70. Um, 
We saw it again in the pre-market, 30.69. It's shown to be a pretty key level over the past couple of days. So Friday's high, 30.71. Monday's high, 30.70. And then yesterday's high, we got all the way up to, I believe, 32 something, but we couldn't hold. So 32.22. And then we had this giant fear candle that kind of messed up our momentum for the day. But that was just market-wide algo freaking out and and just like kind of re not wrecking everything, but the whole market just started selling off for no reason. Straight out of a Meet Kevin video from last night. Which one? Those stocks? Or my comment? I mean, I've been saying that for a while. You guys have been hearing me say that forever. Um, Let's see. All right. Amy down 0.33 right now. GME down 0.71. We got TLT messing around over here. We'll throw up Pfizer for a bit. Pfizer. Oh, come on. Come on. We're going to need more out of you, Pfizer. Uh, do you think Santa will be bringing us lemon tendies, buffalo tendies, or ranch tendies? I don't know. I mean, everybody kind of likes the lemon pepper tendies. I've never had them, but I would say that I like like barbecue or honey mustard tendies a little bit better. I know everybody likes to have barbecue wings. Uh, not for me. Um, nah, that's just, <laughs> let's see. Kevin is saying that retail is not in those plays anymore. And the short interest is around 30% on some of those stocks. Interesting. Interesting. Everybody. Let's see here. All right. Make attendees. That could be good. Let's see. All right, Amy. Yeah, so 30, 3070 is going to be that level I'm watching today. It's 3071. Remember, we were looking to close over 3072 uh, yesterday at close. I asked very nicely. Didn't happen, though. So apparently, the stock market casino is different from the real casino. You didn't need plant-based tendies? Yeah, it happens. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Natural gas? What is Gush doing? I mean, Gush, the... Natural gas. What are you looking at for natural gas? Are you looking at like futures? Um, let's see here. Yeah. Also, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. It just helps out with the YouTube algorithm and helping like just get some more people in here. Um, thank you guys so much for showing all that support on the channel recently. You guys are super supportive. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see here. Better for all of us if it's squeezed in January because you will have to have access to the money label for taxes. Okay, so the whole taxes thing, here's the thing. You had won. You're only going to get, it's probably going to be first in, first out. So you're, you've are you been averaging down. You've been buying more shares. It's not like since you bought your first share, let's say, right, like in, let's say it's January 25th, that your whole position is going to qualify for long-term capital gains. So it's going to be those shares that, it's going to be those specific shares that you bought uh, in January. So and it depends on how much money you make. Like if you are like a lower income individual, long-term versus short-term capital gains is going to make zero, like a negligible difference to you. If you're like in the top tax bracket, it's going to make a very big difference because your short-term capital gains are at your ordinary income rate. Thank you for streaming early. Matt, synthetic girlfriend. Anytime. 3070 is a weekly support and resistance. Yeah. Look at the commodity price on the futures market. Let me look. Let's look. Let's check. Oh, hold on. None of these, they never like my ad, my ad blocker. Wait, no, this is indexes. I need. See that. Henry Hub Natural Gas on the CME group, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. It's up 1.42%. I think that's probably different, though. Who the F is buying it? Buying what? Great info, as always. Slowly becoming a big fan of the channel. Road Rage. Thank you, man. Hopefully, you're not like going out and just road raging all the time. That would probably be hazardous. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got 13%. Fixed capital gains tax. What? That's kind of wild. Oh, my God. Norm, thank you so much for that big super, man. Coming in hot early. Jeez, thank you. Uh, morning, Vix. Happy holidays. Norm, 
Norm, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Happy holidays to you, too. Sub Dante, happy birthday. Not a hedge fund. No. It's up 8% on what I'm seeing. Uh, anonymous, uh, send me a link to that because uh, I don't know exactly what you're looking at. All right. Got enough people in here. Let's do some derivatives, derivatives stuff. Okay. Where's the one that I need? Okay. So here's what we looked at yesterday in the video. We can actually just compare these two. I just compare. Uh, where is it? Where is it? This is banks holding companies 244 okay so here's what happened so when you're looking through the new derivatives report which i'm extremely excited about um just because the the actual exposure is insane what we did yesterday this is where the oopsie came from top 25 holding companies so goldman sachs holding company is different than goldman sachs commercial bank so goldman sachs the bank is still levered up about 133 to 1 like it's it's wild the leverage level is crazy. But over here, the leverage is a little bit, or where is it? Right here. The leverage is a little bit lower. So they have like about a 35, 38 to 1 leverage ratio. So this is where the oopsie came from, where I just looked at the holding companies versus the top, top 25 commercial bank savings associations and trust companies in derivatives. Still, the holding companies are holding $244, $244 trillion in derivatives and the OTC swaps in, are, are still the highest one. Here's the interesting thing though. When you come down to this right here, this is the cool chart that we haven't looked at before. The percent exchange traded contracts, which are going to be centrally cleared, they're going to go through the exchange. There's a lot more regulation. A lot more regulation on these. OTC, it's like a free-for-all. It's just like when Michael Burry in the short Christian Bale's character just goes to Goldman Sachs and he's like, I want these credit default swaps on the housing market. And they're like, this doesn't exist. And they're like, oh, we'll make it for you. That's kind of what this is, these OTC derivatives. Some of these banks, Santander, 100%, Huntington, 100%, Morgan Stanley, 100% of their derivatives exposure is over the counter. What are these? TD, 100%. Citizens, what is it? No, TD and Northern Trust, 100%. It's crazy. Look at these. They're all 90% right here. Percent interest rate contracts. We've got a lot up here. Those could be, those. a lot of these could be swaps. A lot of these could be swaps. So some of these are going to double dip. So here's why this is important. Because on September 1st, what happened? During his opening remarks, DTCC's Bob Stewart, Executive Director, Product Management for Institutional Trade Processing, discussed the imp impact of Phase 5 Uncleared Margin Rules, UMR, for over-the-counter derivatives. So that's what we're looking at here. The, the just exposure on the over-the-counter derivatives. It kicks in on September 1st, 2021. There will be an upsurge in the volume of margin calls and an increase in the need for third-party custodians to keep safe collateral. As a result, UMR will likely require many buy-side firms to make significant changes to their existing collateral management processes. Here's the other thing. This has been effect, in effect for about two, three months now. Um, they've literally just said there's going to be an upsurge in the volume of margin calls. Have you seen any notices? You're never going to see a notice on margin calls. Morning, STV and 8 Gang. What's up, Ryan? What's up, M. Kriegs? Sent you a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Morning, are we rich yet? Not yet. Uh, after the squeeze, I want to get out of Chase Bank. Where should I put the money? Ah, it's going to be up to you. I can't tell you where to put, like where to put your money. Um, they're all going to have FDI FDIC insurance. Any broker is going to have SIPC insurance. Um, it all depends on what you're mo where you're most comfortable putting your money. Ooh, Spy's getting some red candles here. Ooh, selling off into the pre-market here. Amy's holding up pretty good though, down two point. Or I mean, uh, down 0.27 right now. Just hanging out. Let's see if this is a little fear move on the variant. Nope. All right, GME down 0.71. Not doing too bad here. Morning short. What's up, Dan the man? Uh, is this why most OTC stocks are highly manipulated? No. So OTC derivatives and OTC stocks different so the otc market for stocks is stocks that aren't listed on one of the large exchanges so nasdaq uh new york stock exchange any of these other big exchanges they're just not listed on them because they don't meet the requirements so they trade over the counter over the counter derivatives are very different so 
when you think about over-the-counter derivatives, what, what those are, are essentially just two institutions coming together and entering into some, t- some type of contractual agreement. That's in that contract, whatever that product is that they're trading is going to base its price on an underlying asset. So that's it derives its price from some sort of underlying asset. Is it going to be um, some sort of real estate uh, MBS, mortgage-backed security? Or is it going to be uh, futures? Is it going to be uh, interest rates? Is it going to be something like that? So that's how they do them. It's different than OTC stocks. Yo, slap the like button, says Dan the man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. SIPC, yeah. So I believe it's 500,000 SIPC insurance. Uh, SIPC is a federally, federally mandated private nonprofit that insures up to 500,000 in cash and securities per ownership capacity, including up to $250,000 in cash. Yeah, so over-the-counter derivatives is not stocks. It's uh, it's derivatives. Um, so over-the-counter stocks, yeah, it, typically they're going to have a lot lower volume, much less regulation. So you're going to be able to manipulate those stocks a lot more. The Army uh, vaccine news might hit Pfizer and Moderna today. I mean, it's hitting them to the downside right now. My Pfizer call. I want Pfizer to just go where I want it to go, and then I can play around more. Like, I'm not going to get out of these contracts. I still like them a lot. Like, if I sold them and then it went to where I wanted it to go, I'd be really pissed at myself. When is our FDA approval? I've heard this week for the for the pills. The I think it's emergency authorization. That would be sweet if that hits and then Pfizer goes boom. Or tax, please, on AMC. Of course. Of course, you can have some more tax. All right, so we have uh, nothing's changed. We have, well, nothing's changed since the last time we checked it. We have 19.21% estimated short interest, shares on loan, 105 million, um, days to cover, 2.35, utilization, 79.24, return shares, 25.4 thousand, borrowed shares, 11.7 thousand. What's up, David? How you doing? All right, here we go. Morning, everyone. Yeah, so we have about, 45 minutes until the market opens. Ooh, Spy, what was that candle there? I hate when these candles show up and then they're just fake and they're not real. It's like, come on, just go. Just rip back up there. Or if it's going to be the downside too, it's like, just do it. Like if you're going to fill that order, just do it. (laughs) Might be a dumb question, but what is considered a derivative and how does overexposure on these affect the stock market? Okay, so derivative is any type of product that derives its price from an underlying asset. So options are a derivative because they derive their price from the movement in the underlying asset. So with so let's say an option on AMC would would correlate to the price movements of AMC's stock price. So if they're over leveraged on those derivatives, one, there's hedging involved um, with a lot of those contracts that they're going to be trading. So if they're over leveraged on a lot of these contracts, one, the losses that they can take are much more significant. And two, what was it? And and there's all uh, and since they have to hedge them, it can cause a lot of price movements in the underlying just based off of the hedging. STV thoughts on Trey live streaming last two days? Maybe a collab with UTMI and Trey? That would be sweet. I feel like we could set that up at some point. Let's all hop on somebody's stream for a little bit. Let's see. We got news. Shiba Inu was added to GME's payment system. Ooh, S&P uh, E-mini futures slightly pair losses after Q3 final GDP data. That's what it was. So 18 minutes ago. That was kind of bullish. Hold on. US Q3 GDP, final GDP up 2.3% versus the preliminary GDP of 2.1%. Oh, the price index. That's probably what it is. Where is it? The PCE price index. Up. Oh, it met expectations. I. Mm, I don't know. The, I mean, the data here. I mean, it came out 18 minutes ago, which was like right around here. I don't know why we're selling off so hard off of that. I mean, it's at expectations and GDP seem to have gone up higher than expected. So hmm, interesting. 
Rumor is Elon done selling his stock. Oh, no. Elon, uh, getting off early uh, today or just a longer stream today? I don't know. Oh, no. We'll just be on for a while. Uh, let's see. Amir, do me a favor and please Google poet and vudge and tell me TMI doesn't look like poet. No. I wouldn't be able to tell you what TMI looks like because I've never seen his face. So how am I supposed to know? How are you supposed to know what he looks like well, if he's got a mask on all the time? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Started a partial transfer of shares from Webull to public early this morning. Kind of nervous. It'll be fine. How long will that take? I mean, uh, you can always cancel the transfer if it's going to take too long. You just cancel it. Hit that cancel button. Just be like, no, pump fake. <laughs> all right. Amy's up 0.33 or down 0.33%. Spies down 0.24. Pfizer down 0.34. Uh, GME now down 1.27. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of volatility at the open again, people. Um, I hope everybody's ready. It's going to be another pretty fun day, I'm thinking. Pretty, pretty fun day. For I, I mean, here's the thing. What we've seen in the past before Amy's big run-ups is, one, we've seen the Ortex short squeeze type three signal. So we have that. Um, we also see those slow stair-stepping days of just like couple percent, couple percent, and then they start to get bigger. Um, but previously in the June run-up, we ran all the way up to all time, like the previous all-time high before we really started the boom. Why does public not do options? Payment for order flow, most likely. Uh, they don't they don't want to be involved with payment for order flow. You cannot, I mean, I don't know of a broker that does that offers options trading that doesn't participate in payment for order flow. Because think about it, the market makers are selling them, like you gotta kind of send them to the market maker anyway. Like it's very hard to get around payment for order flow with options. So that's most likely the reason my public doesn't offer them right now. Because technically, well, are you saying AME? No, I'm saying Amy, like a like Amy, like. Like, this is Amy over here, and then this is Jimmy. Freakazoid. What? <laughs> naked did a reverse split. Can you please check Ortex for Naked, please? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, 1.84%. The cost to borrow, decent. Utilization, decent. Nothing too crazy, though. I mean, they're returning a decent amount of shares today, too. Uh, reverse split, typically bearish. Because here's the reason why a lot of companies do reverse split. It's to meet the price requirements to trade on the NASDAQ or any of these other exchanges. So if their price is below the minimum price, they'll do a reverse split to just artificially get it over. So it means that, one, their business is not technically good enough, according to what the market says, to trade on the NASDAQ. So they do a reverse split in order to just be like, yeah, whatever, we're going to Lower the amount of outstanding shares, increase the price. Ethan, thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate it, man. Rumor is when they hung out, TMI had a portable blender and a straw grinding his food into a drinkable slurpee. He'd slurp through a gap in the mask. Yeah. STV, don't ignore me now. What's the name of that cartoon character? What cartoon character? Geo, which one? Are you talking about the toothless dragon again? Is that what we're doing here? Can I check out? Did I check out the Meet Kevin video on the new short scoops place? No, I didn't see it. You guys told me about it like just now, so I'm not. I'm not a whole sure. Freakazoid, what are you saying, Phil? <laughs> All right, Amy down 0.36. Spy, eh, what's TLT doing? TLT up a little bit today, still below 150. I mean, it ran up into the close yesterday. Hold on. Didn't Spy run into close? That's weird. Okay. That's a little bit of a weird move on TLT. The one you look like. Morning, Vix. How are the numbers on Amy? Good. They're all good. I mean, they're, they're changing a little bit just due to the price movement that we've had over the last, like, five days, that, that big run up. But, again, shorts haven't covered. Um, and, and also, when you see um, the market makers go to short, either they're going to use their legal exemption to naked short um, in order to hedge all of those puts. So we could end up seeing a bunch of FTDs pop up over the next couple of days, or they're just going to take a loan out of shares and it's going to pop up in the short interest, which could jack everything up. But when that expiration date comes due and they no longer need to have 
those hedges on to be able to deliver on their part of their obligation, then they they cover those shares and it could mess with the short interest numbers. Oh, he's responding to Geo. Oh, gotcha. Kevin's analysis is rather good, but we all know which squeezes matter. Yeah, Kevin's brilliant, dude. He's so smart. Sometimes I'll like watch some of his videos sometimes and I'm like, how do you get, how, how? And it's like, it all makes sense. I'm like, how did you do this? 877 Freakazoid now. Oh my God, we got JD Wentworth back in here. All right, I guess, I guess we're going to do that today. <laughs> all right. Tube socks. All right. All right. Let's see. Um, Amy is down about half a percent right now. Spy's trying to make it to move back up. I'm not a hedge fund. Maybe Amy wants to be more than squeezed. Maybe she wants to be hugged too. You know what? Not a hedge fund. Give Amy a hug. See what happens. I think Amy sometimes, oh, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to say it. Sometimes Amy likes to, <laughs> sometimes Amy likes to just get like, she just wants to go running. She just needs a little bit of motivation. She just needs a little push. You guys know what movie that's from? Dark Knight. One of the best movies of all time. All right, let's see if we got any news. No, nah, I don't see anything. Look up How to Train Your Dragon. SCV pointed out to us that he looks like the dragon, and now I can't stop seeing it. That's, the, that's why I pointed it out. So now you're always going to think I'm just some dragon over here. All right, Spy coming up a little bit here. Let's see what we got here. And play with our emotions. Amy does play with our emotions a little. Yeah, toothless. That's me. Kevin, the one with a three thousand a month info. He charges three grand a month. I mean, it's probably worth it. Not gonna lie. If any, see, here's the thing: courses in general in those like payment things, I would typically say cap BS. But Kevin. Mm, I would say that his stuff top tier out of all of the, th all of the courses. I think if you were to pay for anything, I think you would learn the most for something that he puts from something that he puts out. I personally wouldn't buy it because a lot of the stuff that you can learn is out there for free. But if you needed to, you needed that little bit of a jumpstart, that turbo. I mean, it, that's probably a good spot to be. He pays 3000 a month for his subscription. Oh, oh, are you talking about Bloomberg? We could do that. It's a write-off. I could get Bloomberg on this all this whole thing right now if you wanted to, I, and then you just write it off. It's like I think it's like twenty four grand a year, and I'm Bloomberg certified, and my synthetic girlfriend is is certified too. Ha! Can you say the same? Nope. I'm flexing over here. <laughs> Good morning, SCV. How did BlackBerry do in yesterday's earnings? Going to run today? Uh not great. Um, I mean, it's down 1.73% in the pre-market. It was up a little bit in the after hours. And then once the earnings hit tank. So, I mean, it, this was one of those moves on earnings. that like, wasn't all that crazy. Matt's a dead girlfriend. <laughs> Jealous. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we saw, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond really go nuts on their earnings, but they announced a giant share buyback. So it's hard to compete with that. Flex it. <laughs> JD Wentworth, I like you, but we're not going to have any other creator hate in here because that's rude. Everybody has their spot to go. Everybody has their own role in what they do. So, no, we're going to have none of that. Let's see. Does a blog doll count? Jonathan, it doesn't. I don't think they could be Bloomberg certified. So, it would be very hard for, for the doll to get certified. Let's see. Yeah, so if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, it just helps out with the algorithm. Let's see. Amy down 0.23. Spy's trying to make a move back up here. We've got about 31 minutes to get going. You check out the website. Which website? 
Simon, okay, chill out, everyone. Don't worry. I'm here now. It's okay. Sorry, I was a bit late. Nah, it's fine. No hate. He's an OG. Just don't, uh, just don't want people are shouting out a stream start in your stream. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What did we want? Ortex? Yeah. Amy Ortex. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun. You guys excited for Christmas? You guys, what what did you guys ask for from Santa? Everybody's gonna say Mo asked now. Why did I even ask that question? All right. Uh estimated short interest on Amy right now, 19.16%. Doing decent. I mean, it's still up there very high. Came down a little bit, but let's see. I'm not sticking up for you no more. No, JD. I didn't see what you were doing. I was like. Briefing. Oh, M. Kriegs with the morning brief. Here we go. 10K and I will sell a share. I asked for world peace, not a hedge fund. I don't think you did that. Ooh, Amy getting a pop here. Here we go. Back into the flat territory. Unicorn. Uh, is this the briefing? What is this? Oh, this is movers. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, M. Kriegs. Gap up, gap down. Nice. I like these. Mass gang. What's up, people? How are we doing? We got the mass in here. You guys are always welcome to come hang out after TMI pops off. How are we doing? We, we doing good, people? Hope Amy has a good day today. Me too. Krampus, what is that? Mass gang. What's up, everybody? How are we doing? Uh, I asked for more AMC shares for Christmas. Nice. That's a good thing to ask for. Smash the like button. Slacker says hillbilly. Thank you. All right, people. Let's see. Amy pretty much flat in the pre-market now. Uh, Blackberry just kind of doing its thing. I mean, we can leave them up for a little bit. GME getting a little bit of a pop here. Uh, only down 0 0.08 now. It hit a low of 156.11. Right now, 157.99. Not doing too bad. Uh, Amy just went flat here. It could get spicy going into market open. What's going on, guys? Says CJ. What's up, man? Uh, Kevin Software is to track retail so they can avoid getting squeezed. Interesting. I don't know. I, I mean, I would think, I would think that he has Bloomberg, and he wouldn't. And it's just blue, ooh, Amy in the green now. what's going on guys welcome back to another video yeah everybody i saw a comment yesterday on the video that was like you should use your normal chill streamer voice in your videos and not your video voice and i was like you're right let's see where is pico i don't know I don't know where Pico is. I banned him. He no longer served any use to me, so we let him go. It's not Bloomberg. Interesting. Uh, SV, how can we see what the pre-market looked like on June 2nd? Okay, so I can do it, but I would literally have to go back like day by day unless I had like TD and I could like go and like then highlight it. So Weeble doesn't allow you to do it, I don't think. I can't like zoom in. Mask gang, what's up? STV, your hair. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with my hair? Oh, also, do you guys see my Christmas tree? Nobody made a comment about my Christmas tree yet. What's up? You guys don't like my Christmas tree? No? Pico on, Pico off. Pico off right away. <laughs> now nah, my daughter always laughs and knows who I'm watching when you say what's going on, guys fair no way use your video voice for videos and your streaming voice for streaming okay fair sv's hair looks like that guy in the grinch the mayor thanks <laughs> appreciate it a little charlie brown treat can't really see it let me see hold on see it kind of matches me like right here see this thing it's like same thing right 
All right. Actually, here we go. See, now we're good. <laughs> All right, everybody. House arrest here? Okay, we are not starting the house arrest stuff again. I, I do not agree. All right, here we go. So Amy down 0.17. Spy coming up a little bit into the range. Looking decent here, people. SCV saves his video voice for his OnlyFans. Yep, 100%. <laughs> Breaking news on Omicron variant from U.S. military. Ooh, is that good? Come on, Pfizer. Thank you. Yes, I did. I have a visitor. Uh, and I was just notified that Amazon AWS is down today. SCV check mod chat. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, me, Kevin, video yesterday, he's talking about another subscription that he found that costs 3000 a month. It tracks where retail goes when hedge funds want to short. They can short stocks where retail isn't. So he's using that info to come up with a strategy for short squeeze plans. He can't give up the company because he said he would get in trouble. Whoa. I feel like we could find it, though. That's really cool. That is really cool. Lots of AWS issues lately. Yeah. Yeah, lots of them. Like for no reason too. Like all of a sudden, it'll just be like Amazon's down again. And it could just be like their servers can't handle all the traffic. But like it's Amazon. They should, they should be able to handle it. What's up, STV and Synthetic Family? They say what's up too. Good morning, Vic, says Jack's dad. What's up, man? The hedgie shorted your tree. You don't like my tree? That hurts. I like my tree. All right, yeah, everybody. Yeah, so if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, just helps get more people in here for the morning streams. Uh, we're going to be on for a while today, so let's have some fun. We got Amy coming up in the pre-market here. Let's have another good day, honestly. Like, it... I think we easily, with the way the market's kind of bending back around right now, um, if we get a little bit of bullish act Chin. I should just say bullish momentum. Like, screw this action word after bullish. Like, I can't say it. So I should just keep it going with just bullish momentum into market open. Then we can see some Amy boom boom candles, which is what we're really going to want to see. And that level that I'm watching, same thing as yesterday, 3070, 30, Does that mean public is down? I mean, they're not down. Like, Weeble's good. Remember that one day when Amazon was freaking out and then we my Weeble just went, nope. METX is breaking out. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. look what we got here on Pfizer. Nice. There you go. Ooh. You know what I should do? Anytime M. Kriegs just mentions a stock, I just buy it. There's so many of them. And then all of a sudden, they'll just go boom. All right, spy coming up here. METX is breaking out right now. That's going to be a sweet one. Bullish momentum sounds better anyway. Yeah. Can we see SPY all-time high this week? Yeah, we could. It's possible. Tesla is funny. Is runny or funny? Because Elon got a full charge on the Cybertruck. Vix's favorite Tesla. I hate, oh, I hate the Cybertruck. Good morning from Barry, Mick, Ock, Einer. You can't catch me with that one. <laughs> you can't catch me. You're not going to catch me slipping with, slipping with Barry. <laughs> All right, Amy. Amy's pretty much flat right now. Spy's coming up here pretty solid. METX is looking good. GME flat. How's Pfizer looking right now? Pfizer and Docu, I'm going to need to go on absolute moon missions by January. How's Ryan? Where's Ryan? Ryan, where's Docu at? Eh, it's all right. It's all right. I know nothing about nothing. Bag holder of gold. M. Crease. That's false. <laughs> Uh, we have to love the Cybertruck. It looks like a moon vehicle. Mm -mm -mm. I think it looks silly. Your streams are like olden times in January of Trey's streaming. Really? Whoa, the lights just flickered in my apartment. That was weird. Naked up over a thousand percent. No, it, no, no, no. Reverse split, guys. Reverse split. It's a reverse split. It's not up over a thousand percent. Good morning, STV. CT in the building. What's up, Benjamin? Where are you from in CT again? Aren't you from like 
I feel like Torrington or something. I'm ready for the DOJ to make arrests. I don't know. I don't know if they will. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Wrench. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Wrench Capital. I don't know how I feel about the Cybertruck. I want it because, yeah, I don't like it. It's just ugly. Like, like, you can't be like, that's a pretty car. It's just gross. Noel, thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it. AMC to La Luna. I like that. AMC to the moon. Some Spanglish. I like it. Starting off hot, people. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be watching 3070 and 3071. Uh, and again, we're going to do the same thing that we always do looking at the ranges. This is basically like what we've seen the trend with any stock, the SPY, AMC, dot, pretty much any stock that we want to look at. It's the range of the 50, the 100, the 200, and the VWAP. Typically, the 50 is what it's going to use as that re first resistance level. Um, so if it breaks below and the 50 is kind of hanging down below, it's going to see resistance down resistance down if it can break above and then break above the 100 that's usually the confirmation of a trend reversal but on the other side it's going to do the same thing just on the top so it can come up come down use it as support come up come down use it as support that's kind of what we've been seeing out of everything if it's hanging out in between we're probably not going to see a whole lot unless the volume really picks up and there's a lot of sell or buy orders coming in Please, STV, do the Wrench Capital voice for your whole show. I can't. I can do the first part. 877 Denaro now. STV, what's on your Christmas wish list? You, Sebastian. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> All right. Too much. <laughs> Sorry. Red day today. I mean, right now, the SPY is down 0.07. It's very flat. It could easily go green. I mean, Amy's down 0.23. GME's flat. Like, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pick its direction. We're probably going to see a decent amount of volatility right as the market opens. And then that took a turn. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Click that like button. Help with the algorithm. Get the word out as, as many people you can. Jeremy, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Nice haircut, Vix. Looking good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I like the Rivian pickup. So does my friend. Really likes Rivian. Huh? It's an it's an electric SUV. I'm talking to myself again. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Amy is at it's down 0.36, not doing so bad. Feeling cute. Might buy some more AMC. There you go. My wife will have something against it, says Sebastian. Darn. Hey, there's always room for a wife, your wife's boyfriend, though. <laughs> so, no, what's up, Antics? Antics, that's the first message that I've seen. Oh, Morgan, what's up? Uh, meet a nicer class of people that way. Yeah. Lucid air. Those are cool. If you had to pick between a squirrel, it's stop with the squirrel joke, guys. Lambo makes an SUV. It's an Audi. It's an Audi Q5 with the Lambo engine. That's all it is. All right, people. We've got about 15 minutes until the market opens. Let's get it going here. Let's see. What is going on? We got something developing today. Is that what we have going on? I think so. I think so. Oh, I know. I know what's going on. All right, everybody. Amy down 0.33. Spy's coming down. It's just in the range again. Uh, right as the market opens, we're probably going to see, like we do with Amy, a nice little pop, drop, hang out for a bit, and then it might start coming back to the upside if it's going to pick that direction. Or if she really wants to get spicy, she'll just get some giant green boom boom candles coming in. But again, the Weeble volume right now is only about 133,000 uh, or 113,000. So, I mean, who has TD right now? Can we check the volume? I could probably just do it on NASDAQ right now. Um, because this only shows like Weeble volume. All right, Yahoo right here. Let's see if it's going to give it to me. Uh, Pre-market, Yahoo's probably not going to give it to me. Market watch, NASDAQ, here we go. Pre-market, let's see. Pre-market volume, 200,000. Very, very low volume for everything across the board in the pre-market today. So, I mean, it is coming into the holiday week. 
like the holiday. So, I mean, I would expect to see lower volume, but if we can keep stepping up like we have on lower volume, that'll be very solid. Jack up the days to cover. Yeah, naked, it was a reverse split, guys. So that means they decrease the amount of outstanding shares, but have a higher or, or a higher share price. So that's all they did. The stock didn't rip. Uh, let's see. So no 20 to 30% run for Amy today and tomorrow. We need volume for it. I'm okay. So hold on. We don't need volume for it. We just need more buy orders. If that makes sense, because you can have more volume on the sell side too. Like you could have just like wild, crazy high amounts of sell orders coming in that day. And then the buyers are going to come in and try to meet those sell orders, but the volume is going to be super high. What we need is more buying demands. We just need demand to step in and just start wiping out those sell orders on the level two and keep stepping up the price. Once we can see that and the FOMO really starts to kick in, then we can really go and make fun of Gasparino on Twitter, which will be a great time. If, when, once we crack all-time highs on AMC, which I do believe will happen again, don't know when, I think it's possible that it hits it in January, but I do think it's going to do it again at some point. We are all going to go and talk wild nonsense to people on Twitter who have been naysayers of AMC. You know why? I typically wouldn't do something like that because typically I don't care. We're going to sit here making money. We're going to be having fun. But the fact that they've come out and just like basically just said that we're all idiots. Now I'm going to, now we can come out and just be like, yeah, all right, bro. Like when anybody says stuff now, all I say is just like, they're like, oh my God, you're still talking about the MOAS. I'm just like, see you at the FOMO rally, dude. Like you're going to come back. Make sure you have some money set aside because you're going to want to get in. All right, SPY coming up decently right now. Amy down half a percent. What's GME at? Down 0.29. Docu, we don't really need you up here. You know what we want? Pfizer. Guys, are we going to get Byron speaking today or no? No making fun of Mar uh, Charlie until we're all rich. Early celebrations are lame. That's true. The biggest I told you so in the world. Yeah. I need help to understand Ortex. Yesterday, security lending volume on Prague absolutely spiked, and I don't know what that means, higher than it's been before. In terms of like shares going out on loan or shares getting returned, because there's a difference. Oh, what's up, J-Dub? How you doing? A lot of FUD being spread regarding the Matrix movie. Seems like they're trying to keep the first weekend numbers down. I mean, they're doing a simultaneous release on HBO. Like, I saw it last night when I opened hbo max it was like oh well, you can watch it on hbo and i was like screw you why are you doing that but i still think that after the release of spider-man uh people are going to go to the theaters spider-man number two uh like movie in terms of box office numbers in history i'm the master of bag holding after fomo buying says sebastian you, sh you should don't you should not do that uh when do when you do calls weekly how soon do you get out it depends it really depends. You leaving? It definitely has been a minute. We had a Mandy visit. Yeah, dude. I don't know where Mandy went. Tinfoil hat. Mandy, not who she says she is. I heard Keanu Reeves was mad about it being streamed. He was. There's an interview with Keanu Reeves, and I forget who the other uh, lady sitting next to him was, but he was getting asked about, like, what, like, the movie theater experience and like he was like, I want to see it in the theater. It's a different experience with like the big screen, the popcorn, the sound. He was like, Oh, it's like, it's just, there's nothing like it. When Mandy, I don't know. I'll be going to an AMC uh, go to an AMC to watch the matrix. Yeah. I still have to go see Spider-Man. I've been super busy. If anybody spoils it for me in here, I'm going to be very upset because it's only been like a, less than a week. So I feel like spoilers are unwarranted, but I still want to go see the movie. Every, so every time you say Pfizer, I'm going to say squirrel. No. All right. Give me two seconds, people. Two seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Spider-Man NFT day today. Ooh, it is. SV, is there 
a site where we can see what shares have been hedged for by hedge funds and have accounted for it? No, not really. No, I had to go say bye to my guest. Uh, spoiler, he has a spider suit on. <laughs> Thanks, not a hedge fund. All right, people, we got 10 minutes until the market opens. Let's do this thing. We got AMC down 0.56. We got the spy doing its thing. We got Pfizer kind of being an a-hole. GME flat. Here we go, everybody. If 4 million apes go to see the Matrix, it's all over, especially if we all bring a plus one. I'll bring a plus one. We'll get ready to be spoiled on Spider-Man fix. I'm joking. No, nah, please don't. I don't want to know. Everyone changed the tag to man. No, please don't. What was his name? Did you give her a STV hoodie before she left? No, she's got like two of them. I think she has two. I think she got has two. Let's see some green today. Eric says he's taking plus 10. Eric, my man over there. Can I be your plus one? You can be my plus two, not a hedge fund. All right, everybody. Bring on the jokes. Do it. Do it. I'm ready for it. Do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, so if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, it just helps out with the algorithm. Um, I guess YouTube's been playing with me. You guys were saying that in uh, yesterday's video or in yesterday's stream. Uh but yeah, let's go. Of course, at AMC, Mandy got a blue hoodie. No, nah, I don't even know who Mandy is. So crazy part was when Spider-Man and Goblin. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I may have to agree with you. Yeah. Uh, hold on. What do we got going on over here? Anything crazy? Hmm. Yeah, I like that meet Kevin thing. I, see, I, I want to take a look into that, and I'm going to find it, and I'm going to buy it and see. And then I'm going to – is my shirt on inside out? It shouldn't be. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. This is my new Henley hoodie, and I really like it. I never want to take it off. YouTube was messing with TMI this morning. That's annoying. Is your guest going to be your plus one? Of course. Or text on squirrels? No. Don't you be talking spoilers on the show? I won't. Don't worry. Look at AMC on the MACD on the daily. Yeah, it flipped. Where is it? Right here? Yeah. It's... She's ready to get booming. She's ready to get booming. What's the RSI on the daily? To trading view we go. Uh, One day. 4678 making its way up to 50 crosses 50 that would be bullish uh short shorted tmi's mic his camera everything that's annoying that's very annoying look what uh yeah i love you thank you little buddha appreciate it man i love you too thanks bro anytime 2k a month app for college student how much is youtube paying you it's a it's a write off i just i just say hey tax man <laughs> Like that and Bloomberg. If I paid for that and Bloomberg, I'd pay so much less in taxes. <laughs> but I don't even think I would use Bloomberg. I because I feel like I would just see the data and like go, oh my god, and then just be like, oh, it's not that crazy. Aside from AMC and GME, is anyone else bullish on Prague? I'm bullish on Prague. I have those long term uh, options on it. I mean, they're not leaps, but they're long. They I think they're expiring in July. They're down right now. I'm just gonna hold them. What are my BBIGs for? I think 2023 or something. With those types of plays, those like more speculative, not really like speculative, but the short squeeze plays, I like to get a lot of time. Like the ones that aren't AMC and GME. BBIG 2023. That's what I have. Boomer in the house, Christmas vacation. There you go. Uh, will the video from you and your get? No, 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 no. Not a hedge fund. No, no. <laughs> YouTube mess with Clay. Really, everybody's getting messed with on YouTube today, people. Make sure you guys are showing support to your favorite creator, whoever that is. So, because like it, the YouTube's just playing. Might have to do with uh, AWS, maybe. I don't know. Where exactly are we meeting in Vegas post Moas? I don't know. 
The only places that I know off the top of my head would be the Bellagio and Caesar's Palace. And that's really just because of the hangover. Caesar Palace. All right, Amy. Ooh, she's coming up a little bit now. Um, remember, 3070, that's what we're going to be watching today. We got Pfizer down, uh, GME down half a percent, Amy down 0.4. Let's see what happens. We got five minutes until market opens, people. Let's do it. Uh, in finance, MBA, I had a free capital IQ login until last week when it expired. Is that what it is? Mikey likes the sock. Is that what it is? Is that what he's looking at? At the Vegas party, I'm going to kiss you right on the mouth. Um, please don't. Not a hedge fund. I don't know where that's been. <laughs> Nate, that's a funny joke. Come to my casino. I'll be the host. You have a casino, Jason? You have a casino? That's like mo ass every day. You play, uh, dude, imagine, imagine like, cause when you go to the casino, like you're probably going to lose most of the time, but imagine you go to a casino and you win every time. Imagine how awesome that would be. That's what it's like. Got to be like owning a casino. You're just gambling, but you always win. <laughs> All right. Spy down 0.11. Amy down half a percent. I'm going to be watching Pfizer today. I need, ooh, GME got a nice candle right here up half a percent now. Let's see if Amy can join it over there. Bing bong. Price is wrong. S uh, UConn should have Bloomberg or Capital IQ. Uh, are you getting hosed? Uh, we have Bloomberg. Uh, so I have Bloomberg terminals that I can go use, but I can't like, I can't take one. <laughs> oh, you'll be the house, says Jason. Interesting. That's kind of like what I do when not a hedge fund says, I'm going to buy the SPY 500 calls that expired this week. I'm like, oh, I'll sell them to you. Uh, I prefer craps in an alley. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Vix, a guy rode his dirt bike in the Bellagio and stole hundreds of thousands of ships at the craps table. No, he didn't. That's crazy. That is wild behavior that nobody should do. All right. That's kind of what like a lot of these market makers are doing though to the stock market. <laughs> All right, Amy getting some red candles here down 1.0. Ooh, nope. Also, hold on. We got to talk about MCree sent me this new filing yesterday. Apparently, AMC has now gotten an extension on some of its debt. Here's how the media is going to take this. Let's see if there's any news articles right now because ooh, ooh, popping up here. This is interesting. Okay, so uh, news. Here it is. Let's see what they say about this. Entered into a, a credit agreement. Yeah, so that's just the Reuters notice. Okay, so what happened was that they extended some of their debt. There's two ways that you can take that. One is, well, that's awesome. They have more time to pay. The other way, which I believe is the way that Gasparino and all of these other idiots are going to take it, is, oh, they can't pay their debt. They need an extension. That so that's the two ways. If you start to see that, that's going to be re that's going to be like, okay, screw you. I know you're like. You're, you're trying to manipulate the, the actual thing that we're seeing. Um, in my mind, it's very good. They have an extension. They can use that capital that they have right now to spend it on different things. Hint, hint, acquisitions of that one movie theater chain, all those movie theaters that they're going to need to basically close down in order to pay a lot of that settlement that they that they owe. I believe that's regal. Um yeah, Amy's getting a little volatile into open now, people. We got two minutes until open. Pfizer coming up a little bit. GME down 0.56. Amy down 0.43. The SPY is looking like it wants to go green here. Let's do it. Let's do it, people. Here we go. All right, Amy. Come on. Online streaming is our enemy. Big tech. I disagree. I believe I don't think streaming plays that big of a role um, in hurting movie theaters at all. Now you can say all you want about like here's the thing. What you typically do this is this is the trend that I see. For me personally, and the people that I know, what do I watch on a streaming service? One, TV shows. Two, older movies or re-watching movies that I have not seen that have come out a while ago that I want to see. If I want to see a new movie, I'm going to the theater or I wait till it comes out, or this is what I used to do, on Redbox. Like you pay a dollar for the movie, you take it home. I don't watch new movies on a stream. Like I'm, It just doesn't make sense. Like that's not what I do. The whole like streaming thing for me personally is TV shows. All right, Amy's selling off randomly into the pre-market now, but it's very volatile. We saw another one of these Doom Doom candles, and then it just ripped right back up. So let's see what happens. 
Um, so that's kind of where I'm at on it. It's like, hmm, it doesn't, it's like, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like they can say whatever they want about ooh, Pfizer popping here. Um, about like streaming and it, it's just, that's not like my, like I don't use it for that. And I don't think a lot of people do either. Like, yeah, I could watch the matrix right now on the thing. But like, if I actually want to go see it, like and go to a movie theater, because like, guess what? People have been shut down for too long. They want to go out and do stuff. Let's see. All right. Pfizer getting some nice candles here. Spy is just going to be trapped in its range. We are seeing Amy do that initial sell-off move that we typically see it do when the market opens. Whoa. Welcome to all the new people in here for the stream. What's going on, guys? All righty. Uh, what about dates? Movies are a good idea. Exactly. I'm going to take the synthetic, the my guest to a movie. Debt extension means they have more money to go shopping with acquisitions. Exactly. No one cared what I invested in until uh, my money in until I invested in AMC. Facts. Movies are guys' dream dates, one to two hours where you don't talk. That's hilarious, Mikey. <laughs> hey, SCV, how did the DMV go? It was the most miserable experience of my life. Not going to lie. Uh, Corey, June 2nd was the second day of my vacation and we spiked. Well, today is the second day of my vacation. Corey. There you go. My birthday was the second highest percent green day on AMC, May 27th. Again, guys, if you beat my birthday candle of 35.58%, you get mod for a day. My YouTube birthday was last Friday, and we ripped like 20%. So I need to have more birthday. Spy is coming up here. Amy's getting to hit a little bit. Uh, Pfizer's doing all right. Spy probably just went green. Nope. All right, down 0.01%. GME flat on the day. Amy's most likely going to do its typical move. Honestly, if we see going into the end of the day today that Amy is kind of below its range of all the moving averages, breaks above, and starts coming up to VWAP, I'm going to lose my mind because that's exactly what we've seen, and I'm going to feel like I'm in Groundhog Day. It's happened every single day for like the past five days, and we call, we're call we just calling out the same thing. We're just like, oh, yeah, test the 50. Let's break the 100, move up to the 200, and try to crack that VWAP and go up. Um, that's what we're really looking for. So Amy right now is down about 2%, 29 57 right now two and a half it's getting a little flickery now the spy is outside of its range they can set it free right now to the upside if they would like pfizer is going here ryan it's looking decent for us buddy when are we going to get tired of all of this bs we are that's why i'm here all the time may 27th is my white ex-wife's birthday oh sorry Corey. <laughs> uh guess no squeeze until next year which sucks but i'll wait these folks up top won't just give in, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Pfizer ripping, Ryan. I mean, that's what we want. I mean, it's not ripping, ripping, but it is up a percent, which is nice. So my contract's coming back to life. I might be able to buy some McChickens. I can buy like six McChickens. Nice. Just drop my average from 38 to 35. Simply Smith at a boy. There you go. Amy popping back up here. Very, very typical of what we see on AMC in the market open. We see the initial sell off. It chills out for a little bit and then starts moving back to the upside and get some pretty decent boom boom candles around 10 that's usually when we see it let's see when we saw it yesterday go to yesterday's chart real quick when did we start to see amc rip uh 9 36 i mean look at this down green green let's see what happens here if we get a giant red candle all the way down right here and then we start to really rip it's going to be the same price action that we saw yesterday um but yeah, I mean, that's, it's weird. I mean, the market's kind of been trading very similarly. I mean, the spy has been kind of messing around, but like now looking at it a little bit more, I can see why people can just find the fractal, like the, the price movements. And like before I was like, I can't see it. Like, it's not my like strong suit to be like, okay, like this is how the price is moving. Line it up here, stretch it out. This is what it's doing. But now like looking at it, like all day with you guys every day, I'm like, it's the same thing. <laughs> Is Fidelity down? I mean, Amazon AWS is having some issues. Let the Santa rally begin. I mean, hey, you say Pfizer, we say Fi Squirrel. Please, no. What's Pfizer doing? Zero. Yeah, Amy, I mean, it's above VWAP now, and the ranges, the moving averages are super tight right now. So let's see here. Composite, man. It easily could be. It easily could be. Spy, uh, Spy is fine. using VWAP as support right now. That's pretty pretty decent. We need Amy back above 30 and then 30.50. But the real test that I see this week, 30.71. We close above 30.71. It could get spicy. Then it's 33 is what I've seen. 
what's this whole composite man thing? So I want to learn a lot more about Wyckoff theory. I just think it's really interesting because we've talked about algos a lot. Like people ask like, how are they moving together? And I'm always just like, it's the algorithms. It's the market algorithm, but they all move the same. So it's either one or a couple algorithms that are very similar that are working together. I believe composite, uh, um, composite man is like the the one algo is supposed to be like the one algo that like basically runs the market i would speculate that renaissance has something to do with it um but i still need to look more into it i really like the the all of that the technical analysis that comes with wyckoff so like this maybe not this weekend i might have some time to do it when i'm at the airport um to learn more about it but i think it's really really cool uh there are a ton of hedgy stock puppets running around pretending fidelity isn't working be careful what you believe fidelity is working fine interesting do you think prog will dip back under two how is prog doing progenity Ooh, it's bleeding man Ooh, spy getting a candle here uh gme down 0.36 i think it's possible that prog dips below two but the thing is is that the short interest on it is just going to keep spiking like they're going to have that cyclical nature of like they're going to short it down and then the short like then they're going to start covering and then it's going to rip again um i mean i still like it i'm not going to sell those contracts like they're down a decent amount I'm not, i didn't put a lot of money into them but i'm going to ride it out see what happens Wouldn't algos mean it's not a free market? Not necessarily. David Marino has your answers for Wyckoff and stuff like that. Yeah, so what I want to do is learn as much as I can about it in the time periods that I have and then have them on and just go back and forth and just run through a lot of the stuff with you guys. So remember, I'm trying to do those Sunday streams um, and just invite people on. So we'll, we'll see if we can get those going soon. Spy is getting booming right now. Let's see if Amy can get some action here. Back above 30. We're at 29.90 right now. So GME down 0.7, Amy down 1.57. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, maybe Fidelity is having issues. I mean, for some people, it might have issues. For some people, it might not. I mean, we see that all the time. It's also locational. So if it's an Amazon AWS issue, remember, last time, it was like West Coast. So everybody in the West Coast was having AWS issues. Ooh, here comes Pfizer. Um, and East Coast was all fine. And then one time, it was East Coast, and West Coast was all fine. What is Amy? Amy is AMC. Let's see here. Uh, what are your predictions for AMC today? Break above 32? I would like it, but I don't know. We're going to have to see. I mean, this, the market's looking decent right now. Um, what's DocuSign doing? Docu. Come on. All righty. No issue on the East Coast? Yeah, I've, I've had no issues. Yeah, West Coast not updating. Fair. That happens. Um, Corey, Fidelity, A AWS is... Uh, good point. Yeah. Amy is the wifey. Yeah. Amy is my side piece. Nah. Uh, let's see. Something weird happening with Naked. Drop 20 apparently after hours. It's a reverse split. Naked's going to do a lot of weird stuff today because of that reverse split. Um, if you hold it, you're most likely going to see. I don't know what the details of the reverse split are. We can look at it right now. Um, somebody said it was up like a thousand percent. So that sounds like nine or 10 to one uh news on naked uh 15 for one. Oh my god that is bad that is no bueno oh amy popping up a little bit here 3005 looking good and naked's coming back but that reverse split mm, no bueno not a fan of reverse splits Thirty-one fifty, then fun times. Yeah, we're gonna need to cross. All right, Amy just went green here, looking good. Spy is still moving up here, people. This is good. Come on, Pfizer, get up there. What are you doing? To infinity and beyond. Let's see. 
IWM and uh, SPY and AMC up. Yeah, let me see here. Uh, I mean, AMC is still slightly in the red right now, but SPY is looking very strong. Um, I remember Pfizer's waiting for on that FDA authorization. That could be really, really sweet. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Uh, <laughs> All righty here, people. Yeah, so for everybody new that's filtering in, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream uh, just helps out with the algo. Um, I got close to the, to the dip today, 40 shares at 29.82. There you go. Pfizer had bad news last night. Yeah, I saw that, but I mean, they're they're still looking for that author. All right, spy coming down a little bit. Amy still holding up above thirty. Very very good. Uh, GME down 0.7. Amy down 0.83 right now. Twenty five cents. That's nothing. We could do that in a candle. Uh, how did GDP report look this morning? Uh, the GDP increase was higher than expected, which was actually kind of bullet. Like, it, and then so the GDP numbers came out like right here, and then everything started selling off. I believe there was some some price index also came out. So the the move down was mostly based off of that price index kind of freaking out. Um, Amy coming down along with the market right now. Uh, Pfizer holding up. GME 0.7. How's Apple doing? Uh, Pfizer could announce something with Prague. That would be great. Yeah, that would be C. Sam, what's up, man? How you doing? I wish taxes were talked about more. Yeah, I mean, I can talk a little bit about taxes, but again, I'm not the guy. Like, I'm not a tax expert. Like, I hate my accounting classes. They don't teach me you anything really useful in, like, basic accounting classes anyway. Same thing with all my finance classes. I learned zero. Uh, Amy's still hanging out above 30, looking good. They get down over a dollar already. Wish I bought some puts. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to predict when the reverse split's coming. Let's see here. Volume. 3.38 uh, million volume on AMC today. V honestly, very low. What was this first candle? 556,000. That's very low. Remember, two days ago, the first volume on a vol like candle on AMC, the one minute was like 2 million. It was crazy. Two or 3 million. It was bonkers. I'll teach you taxes. Nathan, thank you. I need some legal tax evasion advice. Like, do it legally. Like, evade it, but like legally. Not like Cayman Islands accounts. Like, hey, do this, this, and this. And the government would be like, yeah, you don't have to pay as much in taxes. Maybe I'll get another Mac. I feel like I can do that because I heard what what you can do is you can write it off, but then like if you need like a lender, they'll like count it back on as your income. Kind of confused so far. GDP came out decent. Let's see some gains. Yeah, uh, it had to do with the price. Let me. I can go back. I think on this feed. Let me see. Where is it? Uh, Q three final PCE price index met expectations so it didn't miss so everything is kind of meeting expectations here um honestly if i had settled cash i'd probably go with some i would probably get some spy calls but i have no settled cash so we're not going to play spy today we're going to have to wait uh you ever buy avct i did not i know sam you were crushing it on those how's avct doing today Oh, dude, you are crushing it right now. What do you, you have the 250s for like February, right? Yeah, back over 30. There we go. Yeah, dude, you're crushing it on those calls. Nice job. I need Pfizer to start helping me out. Like I can't have any of this ball, bonkers bullshit coming around. Once Fidelity come back online, expect to jump. Yeah, uh, do you have a settled annuity called JAT? <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, February and April ABCT calls. Sam, there you go. Short squeeze, uh, signal three still on for AMC. Yeah, it should be. Um, when they, what the, ooh, interesting. Hold on. I might have to buy Ortex right now. It might have expired. No, I still got it. All right. Let's see. All right, we're good. What were we looking at on Ortex? What did we want to do? Why did I need Ortex just now? FedEx? I did have some FedEx calls. Is FedEx ripping? I had some, and then I was like, this is not going well <laughs> for no reason. All right, Spy is booming right now. Woo! Woo! There she goes. Oh, type type two. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
uh yeah they're still on because when they issue them it's like for a holding period um so they issue them and then the recommended holding period is a certain amount of days and they're not going to change what like they can't just take it off like once they get the 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 indication out there it's going to stay so or text update on amy let's bring it over here uh, we have estimated short interest, 19.18%, uh, 281,000 shares returned, 124,000 shares borrowed, a net return of shares of 157,000. Amy, popping back up here. Here we go. How accurate are the signals? Some of them are more accurate than others. Um, but we've gotten a type three every single time before we've seen one of those giant price movements in AMC. So before January and so January actually got two of them. June, I believe, got one. Um, but we've seen those big alerts, the source fee signals before the price movements of the uh, Pfizer. Stop. Go up. <laughs> Naked blew up. Yeah, Apple and NVIDIA rocketing. I bet they are. I bet Apple's going on a moon mission. Have we also seen type three and no action? We have, yeah. But the, here's the thing. What, what When they trigger the type three, it's after a, an initial price movement. So when the short interest and everything really starts to spike and then we start to move to the upside, that's kind of when they issue those signals because think about it. Um, you're going to see the the price, the the short interest, the utilization, days to come, everything start to really increase. And then the price goes to the upside. That's squeeze alert because they like w after they've shorted it, then the price starts to move aggressively. Hmm. A little bit of action. Pfizer. Uh, YB normal. Thank you so much for becoming a member, man. I really appreciate it. Whoa. Okay. This is weird. Mandy. Hi, friends. I made it home safe. Have a great day, Jackie Poo. That's weird. The first time that we see Mandy is after... That's weird. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Uh, Vix, what's up, bud? We uh, we both messing with you this morning talking about server errors. Yeah, Amazon AWS. If they're on AWS, yeah. were you looking for Pfizer to go up too? I have time on it, so I don't really care. I just want the contracts to go boom. Like, I'm not going to say... I mean, I have January contracts in the mid-60s. That's what I have. All right, Amy popping back up here. Here she goes back into the green. The spies get, oh my God, I wish I had freaking settled cash for these spy calls. Uh, this market is mass PFE gets good news in the UK and the stock tanks. And it's not tanking. It's down 0.34. I still like, I mean, Ryan, remember what happened yesterday? Pfizer just selling off and then it starts to come back in the later half of the day. GME coming up too. We got 0.38%. Amy trying to, eh, 3018 right now, still down 12 cents. She looks like she was trying to get above this range here. That's what it's looking like. So remember the ranges of all the moving averages. That's what we look at all the time. Spy is set free right now. It's out above. Everything's bending up. It's looking strong. It's probably going to need to cool down a little bit at some point, which honestly would not help the like Amy. Um, but again, Amy can just do whatever she wants. How does Mandy know your name? Oh, because I told everybody. STV, I told you Mandy would be back today. Yeah, that's weird. That's so strange. Very strange. Let's see here. What am I looking to Pfizer to go to? I don't want to say my specific strike to everybody because then people are just going to start piling in and I don't want that. Your name isn't short. No. When did you tell everyone your name? I don't know, like last week, two weeks ago. She wasn't here when my name dropped. I don't know. Maybe she was looking in the comment section of people saying my name. I don't know, man. All right. Amy now down below 30 spy. See, I mean, I was saying it's got to cool off a little bit. Let's see. Um, it could come down to VWAP and then start coming back up. Again, it could use this upper range as support and then start bouncing up again, make new highs. Pfizer tanking <laughs> let's see here yeah so if you guys don't mind just dropping some likes on the stream uh just helps get some more people in here uh helps out with the algo thank you guys so much for those of you who have already done that um and who are going to it helps out a whole lot screw a short squeeze i want a tall squeeze that's funny all right here uh gme flat amy down 1.7 spy coming down a little bit here nothing too crazy Uh, can I quickly explain derivatives? Yes. 
Okay, so derivatives are a investment inter instrument that derives their price from an underlying asset. So options are the easiest example. Um, so an options contract is going to derive its price from the price movement in the stock. It's all a derivative of this. Um, there's going to be a lot of other factors in there too, but that's essentially what it is. STV looking delicious this morning. Latino heat, I appreciate it. Yeah, PFE jumped off a cliff. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see here. All right. Amy coming down. What do we got over here? Two minutes ago, the UK recommends the PFE, this thing, for vulnerable 5 to 11-year-olds. And it's selling off. Uh, screw it. I'm holding it. Like You can't come out with all of this good news and then just be like, no, not happening. Volume sucks today. It's, I mean, it is a holiday week. So right now the volume's at 5.04 million. Spy is coming down, testing this VWAP right now. Let's see if it gets a bounce and continues back to the upside. Again, right as I was saying that, like the spy might need to cool down a little bit and it may not help Amy. Uh, spy comes down, Amy comes down. Like I'm not saying I'm a freaking genius over here, but I mean, I'm not at all. I kind of got lucky on that one, I think. Spy could have just kept going. Uh, I don't know. Right now, would probably, if we get a bounce off this view up, would be right around where I would start to get into spy calls, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, my name is Jack. Isn't Mandy a Barry Manilow song? I have no idea. All right. Spy coming back up a little bit here. Amy bouncing back up. Down 1.8 right now. Nothing too crazy going on in the market right now. Pfizer trying to bounce back a little bit. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want in the top right right now? Pfizer's can't, like just being an idiot. I think those contracts are still green or slightly red, but it doesn't really matter. I still have time on them. Let's see here. No McChickens or McChickens? No McChickens. <laughs> Yesterday was the day we needed to get into spy calls. Yeah, I know. It's fine. I just don't have any settled cash right now. It's all in other stuff. TLT. Yeah, we could get TLT up here for a bit. TLT green coming down, though, a little bit. Watch spy start to come up. Let's see. Lucid, Go EV, and AMC. Yeah, we could do all, some of that. That's also my stepdad's name was Jack. Jacks are good guys. Thank you. S uh, PFE is whacking some peeps. Nah, I'm holding it. Uh, they can screw off with this BS price action. It needed to cool off a little bit, and I think it easily has more room to go. So if it dies, it dies. TLT down, AMC up. Uh, TLT is green right now. Um, AMC is down. Spy's getting a nice pop here back up. Let's see. It's testing that VWAP as support. Came down below it a little bit. Um, but it is bouncing back up. Amy coming back up too. We're going to need to see it get above 30, 30, 50. And then the key level that we need to see today, 30, 72. Jack is my son, said Jack's dad. There you go, Jack's dad. Fidelity website and app display delayed price data. Yeah, it's an Amazon AWS issue. Hold on, what do we got here? Uh, Tesla shares up 4.3%. Uh, author... Authorities submit documents for German plant approval. Tesla ripping. Tesla rip, rip, rip. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Tesla having some fun today. Anybody with YOLO Tesla calls is probably having a decent time. If you invert the colors, AMC will bring you in on the day. Follow me for more financial advice. Not a hedge fund? I No. No, no. Let's see here. All righty. Key level I want to see is 10K. Beach beach guy. Yeah. Uh, read the FT article on market needs to enter modern age, right, written by Citadel officer. What? Whisker Biscuit, send me that. We got an article from a Citadel employee? I want to read. I want to do some reading. Come on. Let's see here. Yeah, if you have that, I'm looking for it right now. I want to I want to go through that and just pick them apart. 
Pfizer is a sinking ship this week. Not until they get the approval. Uh, let's see. Did anybody send me that yet? No, not yet. All right. Somebody sent me that. Ho ho. So if SCV was a girl, his name would have been Jackie. It was actually going to be Madison. I believe. All right. Amy popping back up here. 2990. Spies getting some action. Tesla having some fun today. GME down 0.27. Nothing too crazy going on. PFE, what's going on here? It's getting hammered. Hold on. More news. Stratospheric wholesale gas and power prices threaten a national crisis in Britain. Energy companies are warning, says Financial Times. Interesting. Bad news from a trial. Yeah, Apple knew high of the day. Interesting. The day I don't have Apple calls. And it's only up half a percent. That's not too crazy. Uh, I got two days for that stupid approval. They need to hurry up. I know Ryan needs to go. What trial news? Yeah, somebody got hurt in some trial that Pfizer was doing, I think. Ooh, Amy popping up here, people. All right, here's what we're going to need to do for Amy. Works every single time. Rockets, basketballs in the chat. Please and thank you. All right, did anybody send me that article yet? Nope. I can't even scroll back to see what it was. Let me see. PTPI, ask and it shall be received. Yeah, come on. Rockets and basketballs. Let's do it. And then boom, break out of the range. Apple coming down a little bit. Amy coming down to VWAP. Let's see. Here we go. Rockets and basketballs. There we go, people. Pfizer squirrel. Stop it. Where is Pico? I kind of miss Pico. I want to see Pico today. Hopefully Pico come, comes back in here with a new name and then we can play with him. Subi Sickness. What's up, man? Shelly, good morning. Soccer balls. I don't know. All right, guys. Let's see. We're going to need this VWAP bounce right here. That could be what the Rockets and basketballs are for, a VWAP bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let's see. Uh, might try buying more shares. My man, 100 grand. What up? What up? What up, casual fool? How you doing? Like Nico? No, Pico. Like PCO, position close only, because his name is like the worst thing that's ever. Also, Trading212, the freaking Robin Hood of the UK, is being a bunch of a-holes. Pico raided Rico's lives the other day. That's funny. Got no free cash to play the spy right now. Yeah, I just threw it all into other stuff. I was like, screw it, throw it. <laughs> Apple coming up here. What's what's my oh, fucking Pfizer? Waiting to buy the AMC dip says the Subi sickness. There you go, my man. Pico still trolling. Good for him. Good for him. He's motivated. Uh, let's see. Does Weibo give unlimited day trades with settled cash, even if account value is less than 25K? Yep, that's the rule everywhere. If you have um, if you have a cash account and you have settled cash, you can day trade as much as you want as long as there's settled cash. If you run out of settled cash and you're trading options, you just got to wait until tomorrow. That's why the good faith violations, you can never catch me because if I want to trade something and then like sell it the next day, the, well, the cash is settled by then. So it doesn't matter. Like they'll flash a good faith violation. They'll be like, it takes two days to settle. And it's like, that's not how options settlement works. It's one day. What's the whole Pfizer squirrel joke? There isn't one. People are just saying every single time I say Pfizer, I'd say squirrel. They say squirrel, which is weird. Pfizer coming up here. Ha ha. Still down. <laughs> Ping bong. The price is wrong on Pfizer. <laughs> All right. Uh, been loading the boat. Now I'm at 440 shares, says Sebastian. There you go. EVTL makes EV planes. So does, um. So what's the company? It begins, it's A. A something. Archer. Archer Aviation makes some EV planes, but they're like tiny planes. They're like, they're like one person planes. Ooh, GME getting some big red candles here, down 1.33 right now for not a whole lot of reason. Picked up the Pfizer January 65 for January. There you go. 200 million in volume today. I don't think we're going to see it. We're at 6.12 right now, unless it picks up and we can see it. That would be sweet, though, if we saw that. Uh, let's see here. All right, everybody, let's get it going here, huh? It's probably because you stop mid-sentence and say Pfizer is buy. I, yeah, I stop mid-sentence a lot of times. All right, 
GME selling off a little bit here. Uh, still down about 1.33, not moving a whole lot right now. We have AMC at down two. We have G, uh, or I mean, SPY at uh, basically flat on the day. Um, it is outside of the range, though. So let's see if we're going to get a little bit of bullish momentum coming here. AMC getting a nice little red candle here. That's great. When's Matrix? Today, I believe it's getting released. What's today, though? Wednesday? Yeah, SPY coming up here. Not bad. How's IWM doing? Pfizer coming up. IWM. I, if IWM is up again today, no, it's not. But it, it was a like, little bit squeezy yesterday on IWM. A little bit squeezy with that giant day it had. What was yesterday's high? Previous close, 218. I mean, it was ripping, 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 ripping. All right, hold on. More data coming in, I think. Uh, U.S. November existing uh, home sales up 1.9% to 6.46 million. Uh, U.S. Conference, December Consumer Con Confidence, 115.8 versus November, 111.9. That's pretty decent. Yeah. So economic data coming out, very bullish. SPY is popping here. AMC coming back up. We got IWM ripping too. Same thing with, eh, not really with GME, but the market is liking some of that economic data that's coming out right now. We could really get going across the board today on the market. Oh, you DM me the link on Inst Instagram, Whisker Biscuits. Can you DM it to me on Twitter so I can pull it up? Actually, I'll just do it over here. You're fine. Let's pull up my Instagram over here. Aren't they short? Everybody's shorting the U.S. Treasury market. Heath Tarbert, chief legal officer at Citadel and former chair of the U.S. CFTC. Interesting. Since its establishment in the uh, in nineteen or uh, seventeen ninety, the U.S. Treasury market fueled America's risk. Uh, uh, one would expect the U.S. Treasury market to have modern structure, yet the reality is it failed to keep pace with other markets. It's probably why they're shorting it. Uh, recent shocks to the Treasury market, including pandemic-driven volatility in March twenty twenty, highlight the need for structural reform. Uh, robust reporting of what? Why is somebody at Citadel asking for, to implement a robust public reporting of trades in U.S. Treasuries? Public trade reporting is a key source of transparency and a hallmark of virtually every major market, including U.S. Whoa, this is weird, guys. This is so strange. This is so weird. Okay, you guys want to go through this? There's somebody at Citadel that's calling for, like, more market transparency. That's so weird. Backpedaling? I don't know. Uh, it's very, you can rent the Citadel Center's conference room for 1200 a day, just putting that out there. No, you can't. Okay, so look at this right here. Uh, we'll have Amy up on the right over here. So 2965 right now. Like right here, this is nuts. First, we should implement robust public reporting of trades to the U.S. Treasuries. Public trade reporting is a key source of transparency and a hallmark of virtually every major market, but it's written by the writer is chief legal officer of Citadel Securities and former chair of the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Enhancing public assets at access to complete and timely trade data would strengthen competition, improve liquidity, aid in risk management, reduce transaction costs, and increase investor confidence. What are you saying here? Implementing real-time trade reporting would be straightforward. The infrastructure necessary has been in place for years. With just one small step, the transaction data on treasuries that, the fin that FINRA already collects through its trade system could be publicly disseminated, just as for corporate bonds, at no additional cost or burden. Second, improving trading revenue oversight should be a priority. All trading revenues for treasuries should be required to register with the Securities and Exchange Commission. This would improve transparency in several areas, including rule books, governance, access criteria, operations, services, and fees. This is crazy. This is wildness right here. What are they doing? What are they doing? Do a backflip. Hit the like button. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, just helps out with the algo. Uh, getting more people in here. Thank you guys for showing so much support on the channel recently. You guys are awesome. Let's see here. Reverse psychology? I don't know. He's the legal guy. He's putting himself out uh, preemptively to cover their tracks. Yeah, I don't know. That's so weird. That's what is known as propaganda. Yeah. What's Amy at now? Down 1.88. Spy doing its thing. GME down 0.89. IWM flat on the day. How's Pfizer? How are they doing? 
Oh, oh, look at what we have here on Pfizer, everybody. Almost green now. <laughs> You'll never get this. According to YouTube, your live is one. Oh, boy. Please don't hate on other creators. SV, it's fake. A fallout positioning piece. Also, I sent you a DM on Pico and Citadel. Look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Eric, Pico, PCO is what they call the, the position close only. That's what it is. So, position close only is Pico. Like, that's what they, that's the abbreviation for position close only. So, PCO is like, it's him being like an idiot. King of the castle. <laughs> Time for the GOJ to pay visit Citadel a visit. Yeah, I don't know. Your, your honor, we tried pushing for transparency. Yeah, okay. Remember, they came out originally and were like, payment for order flow is bad until it padded their wallets. Ryan, Pfizer green. There we go, people. Spy coming back down to VWAP. It did make a new high after that VWAP test. Um, so that is a good sign. We could be seeing higher highs after the VWAP starts to climb up. And we do see these these tests um amy right now down about 2.2 percent to 29.61 let's see pfizer rip 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 there we go gme coming down too let's see here they want to short it go ahead by all means jack up the data before we get into this nasty time for january let's take a look at the op chain for this week and oh boy that's another about hmm, twenty thousand contracts up so here's what we're looking at here what we have to look at on the options chain is how much is this January date going to increase in open interest across the board? So right now, yesterday, I mean, we're down in price. The amount of contracts right now, 117,000 calls in the money, I believe, but 432,000 out of the money. There was like 410,000 out of the money yesterday. So that's 20,000 more contracts. That's potentially 2 million more shares that they need to hedge. Potentially, if they all ran deep, deep, deep in the money. So when we see that 20,000 a day, that's big. Remember what we were saying is after that December monthly, it's going to start getting hammered on that January date, which is very, very good. Pfizer, stop it. All right, SPY coming down a little bit here. AMC coming down. It isn't necessarily making lower lows. Uh, the lowest, the low of the day is 29.38. Um, and when it came down last time, what is this right here? About 29.43. This one is about 29.47. So it is making higher lows, but it's, the, the higher lows and higher lower highs. So it's kind of consolidating right in here. A little flaggy. Just bought January calls. There you go. Good for you. I mean, good luck. Don't be too yolo -y with it. Must have gotten fired or quit. Nah. They were also against payment for order flow. Yeah. Yeah. We were Pico, Papa Cohen. Nah, it's position close only, which is, ugh, I hate them. Idiots. Bunch of idiots. All right, everybody. Let's see. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, PFE is fighting it out between 50, 100, and 200 moving averages. Yeah, it does that all the time. I mean, just just like with almost every stock that we see, it's back in the range, which is a good thing to see. It's using that lower level, lower level of the range as support. Very strong. Fine with me. Uh, we're going to have to see it break the 200 to really get going. Amy coming down now, 29.42, down about 2.9%. Uh, the SPY is green, but it's very, very flat today. We did receive some good economic data that kind of pushed the SPY up, but it is back down in its range. It could bounce around here. Um, Amy is now approaching that low of the day at 29.38 right now. Let's see if it gets a bounce off of this right here and doesn't make a new low. Let's see. What time is gummy lunch? No, nah, I'm not doing that today. Uh, they were all, yeah. Uh, SV, I knew that Pico was that, uh, but the content in that was valid to our point. Interesting. Okay, let me see, Eric. I've read this before, Robin Hu. Uh, according to uh, Vice President Internal, with all PCO. This may cause some big moves. Yeah. Uh, so my, yeah, I think I, we've, I've read this before. Yeah, extremely limited position, position close only. Yeah, this was all back in January. Just stole some calls on VBIV. M. Kreese, you do. Yeah, there you go. That's how you got to do it. You just steal it from market makers. You can do it. It's very fun. M. Kreese, keep a lookout on the Weeble comment section to see if they're going to get mad at you for doing that. Let's see here. Are my chats not showing up? Mr. Fishing, I see you, man. 
What's going on, guys? What's up? Hillbilly says, smash the like button. Thank you, Hillbilly. I appreciate it. Uh, how's the volume today for AMC? Uh, we got volume of 7.74 milli. Million. All right, Spy kind of hanging out right around VWAP. We got Pfizer doing its thing. GME selling off down 1.6%. Amy down 3%. Uh, made a new low down at 29.31. We're going to need to see a lot more volume really start to come in. Uh, not like, like when we, when we, when I say volume, I know some people just say volume, we just need volume. Like in my opinion, it's like, no, 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 we need demand. That's what it is. When I say we need more volume, we need the demand. Um, we need that buying demand to come in to really wipe out the sell orders. Because if you just say volume, it could come from like selling volume and they just wipe out the bid, wipe out the bid and keep stepping it down. How do you steal options from market makers when there's wide spreads, um, in low volume? So what you do is if, if you if there's a if there's a wide spread on contracts, what I'll do is I'll look at the last price of it. Let's say like the last price is fifty, but the bid is like twenty, and the ask is like two hundred bucks. I'll start like really slowly stepping up orders, and I'll watch the ask because the ask starts moving as you're doing that. They're watching it because they're trying to steal it from you. So you're basically just playing this game of cat and mouse on whoever is on the other side of the trade. So sometimes if you win, like you're, you don't have, like I, when I'm in there, I'm like, I don't have to buy this contract, but they want to get out of it. So you can kind of steal it from them. You can slowly step up your orders. And the thing is, is that if they come down enough, you can just start decreasing your orders again. And they're like, shoot. So then they decrease it even more. And then you step it back up and take it from them. It's, it's, you play a little bit of a game of cat and mouse. Mark, the realtor, thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it, man. Lucid setting up for a breakout and then Peloton Lottos. Interesting shutdown coming. I disagree. No shutdown coming. Um, we've heard that from a lot of 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 these different uh, government officials that they're not going to do it. This isn't March of 2020. Um, Peloton could still be good though. Like they they had ter like they missed horrendously on their earnings. I mean, they're probably primed for a rebound um, at some point. Like where are they at right now in general on like this three month? Like they tanked here. They've just been on a downtrend. Um, they've had a couple of spikes here. Um, again, if I were to do anything on Peloton, I would buy leaps. Uh, if I'm going down, you go down to situation. Not really. It's like, it's like, uh, you're just, you're just, you're just playing the game of like, it's just like an auction technically. Like you're in, an, it's like whoever's going to bid the highest. Like the problem is, is that if, if people on the bid side, the people that want the contracts want it too, then they might start stepping their bid up past years. And you're like, damn, darn it. Now I'm can't play the game by myself. Uh, Amy coming down now, down three and a half percent, 29, 23 here. Spy is coming down though. What's TLT doing? Pfizer doing all right now. Uh, TLT is up, but it is coming down. So overall trend on TLT today and the bonds are, it is slightly green. So there's some fear, but it's pretty neutral. So that's kind of what we're seeing on the spy too. Uh, Amy at 29, 27 right now, not doing great, but Amy older oversold. Yeah. Uh, what is it on the one? Nope. Hold on. Here we go. Amy's RSI right now, 3569. I would not be surprised if we if we got some giant boom boom candles right now. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Ortex on pellet. I don't think it's a short squeeze play, but we can do it. Let's check the Ortex on Amy though. Wait, where did oh it's over here? All right. Ortex on Amy. Oh, hold on. We're getting some news. Uh, no, no news. All right. So, uh, estimated short interest on AMC, 19.16% cost of our minimum 1.26, uh, maximum 1.9% average 1.77 utilization 79.24, uh, overall doing, uh, I mean, it's still very, very high in terms of the short interest. Um, LC one, two, two, three. Thank you so much for that big super. I appreciate it, man. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Got to head out, uh, but love the morning streams. Thanks for everything you do. LC, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Ortex on PTP. Uh, PFE having trouble breaking out of the moving averages. I mean, it ripped up back into them. I'd, I'd say it could easily get going. TLT coming down now. Watch Spy start to move to the upside and Amy start to get going too. It's very, very oversold right now. The MACD looks like it wants to curl up. Uh, let's see if we can get back up above 30. And again, 3071 is going to be that level for today. 
Uh, what do we want to look at? Ortex on PTPI. And we'll do Peloton too really quickly just because you guys wanted it. Uh, Peloton, Ortex, 10.34%. Very, very low on the utilization. Um, very, very low cost to borrow too. So nothing too crazy going on over there. Uh, Amy is coming up a little bit right now. You can see it in the top right over here. Uh, PTPI 28.01%, nothing showing up on the cost to borrow because no shares have been borrowed today. Utilization 96.85%. So decent short squeeze play on PTPI if it starts to get going. Uh, what's TLT doing? TLT is coming down to this 200. If it breaks this 200 and goes to the downside, we could see the spy really start to get going today, which would be sweet. Amy now down to 29.23, looking strong here. P I mean, I'm sorry, I did not mean to say looking strong. <laughs> in my mind i said i i was i said oversold but my voice said strong that's not what i meant <laughs> all right people yeah government said no lockdowns i don't think we're getting them um how's pfizer doing right now here ryan 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 pfizer popping there we go uh, that's always good to see. Maybe I can buy some McChickens now. Can't buy on Fidelity. Yeah, there's an Amazon AWS issue issue going on today. Let's see. Going up by three cents doesn't mean it's going up. True. Very true. Uh, yeah, we are in a little bit of a downtrend today. We're going to need... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. TLT, did you just break down below that 200? No. TLT bouncing, same thing with the SPY. Interesting here. Interesting. Okay. GME down 1.19. Let's see. Smash that like. STV is fired. Thank you, Yukon. I appreciate it, man. Uh, let's see. Mark the Realtor. Thank you so much for another super. I think uh I think you made Peloton go up. Lucid followed Tesla. Uh it could. Lucid's a little bit different, though. It's a lot newer. So I mean they're in the EV market so if the ev sector is going to start ripping that day then yeah they're probably going to start to go up same thing with like ev go blink and a lot of those other chargers but i don't know i i think what i'm going to start doing is like stop being logical in some of my trades and just go for it if stuff is the, the trend is going to go up just ride the trend spy is moving up here people this is sweet uh tlt coming down to the 200 gme making a move up a little bit here down 0.8 uh amy now down about Three, it's struggling today. Amy's struggling a little bit. I had to poop. What did I miss? Nothing. Where's the volume? Uh, guys, it's a holiday week. Uh, volume's only 9.17 million. Remember, though, if we start getting low volume days, um, the days to cover is going to start climbing back up again. If we get the days to cover at three, that's going to be interesting. What's GME's uh, Ortex? Because they were getting to dangerous levels of Ortex. Like their days to cover was like four and a half or something. Yeah, 4.3 right now on GME's days to cover. 16.67% uh, estimated short interest. That's big. Their utilization has stepped up. Where's their utilization over here? Like, look at this. Look at this skyrocket in utilization. That is so many shares going out on loan. That is dangerous. They are shorting this thing right now. Uh, spy looking decent TLT testing that 200 right now. If it breaks below watch for spy it, with some momentum, watch for spy to get some big boom, boom candles. Mark says, thanks for the super. If lucid or Peloton goes to 43, I'll send a one K super. Jeez, dude. Where's lucid at? Lucid 38. I mean, it, mm, it's coming back up. Lucid goes on its hype train, though. If Lucid starts getting hyped up again and, like, the forums and the social sentiment comes back, it'll go. Like, it'll just start to rip. Like, what's the 52-week high? 64. It's sold off a very significant amount. What's the Lucid RSI on the daily? Uh, Mark, we did. I did check Peloton squeeze potential. It, it Its short interest was, like, 10%. Um, let me just check what's going on over here on Lucid real quick on the – daily daily rsi uh 57 interesting i mean on the super trend it just hit buy on the daily hold on wait hold on that's not right one day oh that's one day hold on that's on the daily 
Nah, it's, it's got a ways to go to hit the buy on the super trend. The RSI on the daily is 51. Let's see here. Bought on Fidelity. Now it got filled. Probably AWS issue, not Fidelity. Yes, I agree. Um, Amy coming down a little bit here, getting hit. Um, what's Lucid coming up a little bit. GME coming down. I mean, they're, they're so here's the thing. We've seen a lot of nice action on AMC over the last couple of days, but a decent amount of shares have been going out on loan. So we could be seeing a decent amount of shorting coming in. I don't see any reason for retail or institutions to be selling at these levels at all. Uh, right now, 19.16% estimated short interest. Nothing's really changing. 137,000 shares borrowed. Nothing too wild going on today. Let's see. Casual fool. Thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it, man. Happy holidays, my man. Just spreading some love around today. Thanks for keeping the community going this past year. Been in since February. Apes not leaving. AMC, my savings account. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Let's see here. Oh, M. Cree, send a picture of the steal. Oh, yeah. Instantly up 275%. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, wait. What is the bid ask? What'd you get him for? What was your fill price, M. Kreese? 38? The bid is zero? Last was 10, though. I would... I, okay, so you might have stole them. Uh, the prob the, you, there's no market for them right now, so that's going to be an interesting one. Um, if the bid starts stepping up, then you're going to be fine. Yeah, I don't see any prop Like, with AMC coming down today, okay, cool. 4.62%, really? We've seen 15% red days. We've seen even bigger, like, red days. The thing is, though, is that here's here's how I think about this right now. Um, you got it for 10? Oh, yeah, and it's the, oh, that was you on the on the last. M. Kriegs, you did steal that one. Because the at, oh, you stole that. Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, so here's what I'm how, how I view this right now. If they want to short it right now, we're already seeing high short interest, step up in utilization, a decrease in the average days on loan. We're decreasing the danger zone. If they want to continue to do that heading into January, where there's a lot of pot like catalysts coming up in terms of like market mechanics and what's going on, go for it. Because here's what it does. If we start to go, one, the danger zone's lower. So we could get to 40 and then it just goes nuclear up to all-time highs and then we start to see those big moves. Number two, what was the other? That's basically it. They're screwing themselves over. They're digging their hole deeper every single day that they enter new short positions, every single time. Pre-Christmas sale? Yeah, how's Pfizer doing now? Came back down a little bit, not too crazy, just crime. AMC Red, any bad news or just crime? Just crime. <laughs> Everybody, crime, crime. Let's see. I'm up to no good. You are up to no good. Merry Christmas, Vix. Love the stream. Going to see Spidey today. E. Caspers. There you go. Nice. Sweet. Uh, Mark, the realtor, thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it. Thanks for all you do, my guy. You just made me load up on Lucid Lottos. No nuts, no glory. Well, I did not do that. I didn't do that. Peloton, Lucid, Visa, AMC, pay me. Mark, I hope they play out for you. I really hope they do. Uh, honestly, SV, do you really think everything you're saying, the hedge funds are not steps ahead and know what they're doing? No, because if they had that much power, we would never be at above 10. And the thing is, is that they can collude together and be like, yeah, we're going to ent enter shorts here. But here's the thing. If they had that much power, they wouldn't be able to like hold it down forever. So no, I don't think they have that much power. Because then you get into the concept of the, of the fake squeeze. And then it's like, well, if they had the ability to manipulate the price, they would never manipulate it up. They would just let it go down. And they would just bankrupt the companies like they've done many, many many times in the past but they don't have that much power especially in this situation like yeah they can fuck around with it every single day but like at the end of the day like okay retail is going to keep buying they can keep shorting it we just went down all the way to like 20 and now we're bouncing back up if they want to keep doing it that's fine with me because we're it's just making the situation better for us when we start to go up it's a lot of just delayed gratification uh let's see Steve, thank you so much for the super. Uh, you think Lucid hits car fulfillment by next week in 2022 Apple partnership? I say Lucid goes to 65. Hmm. Car fulfillment. What do you mean? Like they 
the like placing like the vehicles that they have like selling them like get like filling orders hmm maybe they could i mean 65 would be wild especially for mark if mark if mark, if they went to 65 mark would be thrilled uh let's see here amy's starting to get a little bit of a bounce here what's the rsi to i mean it's got to be so low right now Matthew wants to get up there but it's not not Ooh, I don't want the one second chart. I'm not allowed to do that. Trading view doesn't want to let me do that. They know how dangerous I'd be with a one second chart. Uh, the RSI right now on AMC, 4326. Fidelity is working fine, located in Northern Illinois. I think it's a West Coast issue again. I think that's what they're dealing with. Uh, issue on the West Coast. So SPY is kind of doing exactly what we expect it to do pretty much every day. Now that the 50 is above VWAP, um, we're probably going to see eventually a test of the 50 and then bounce back up, make a new day high. Um, so watch out for that. AMC needs to get back in its range of these averages. We're going to, ooh, MACD crossed a little bit there decently too. If we see this trend keep going, RSI keeps coming up, we could get back into that range. But there is a little bit, it's just dis, it's just kind of like bleeding out right now. I mean, it is showing a little bit of, little bit of strength right now, trying to come back up. It is above 29, still down 3.96, about 4% right now. Um, and GME is down about 1.4. Pfizer flat, uh, not doing a whole lot right now. Let's see. In Chicago, Fidelity app is working, uh, still showing yesterday. Interesting. Desktop app is still showing yesterday. Interesting. So it's probably an AWS issue again. Yeah, that stinks. Uh, government steps in and forces us to sell our shares at an exact price. Is that possible? How? How are they going to do that? Do you know how much craziness would happen? It would be Occupy Wall Street times 10. Like, even more than that. Jeez, Mark the Realtor says three more dollars on Lucid and he's sending a thousand dollars. Mark, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to do that, dude. <laughs> IWM and Spy, they're pumping. I Spy is pumping right now. Where's TLT? Did TLT finally break the 200 and come down? No, TLT is hanging out right around this 200. Uh, GME down 1.3. Amy trying to come back up a little bit here. It's just kind of stair stepping. Cheers on the energy drink. Cheers, my man. Um, on East Coast and Fidelity charts won't show on Active Trader and app is frozen. Oh, so this must be a bigger AWS issue than we've seen in the past because typically it's just been locational, but now it's it's getting a little aggressive. Uh, bu, 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 hold on. Let's see. Whoa, Citadel tweeted it out. Their article, hold on, there's comments. Oh, you guys want to read the Citadel comments? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, if you guys want to laugh, go to Citadel's Twitter and read the comments on their most recent tweet. It's hilarious. Uh, check out SHIB. It's ripping and leading the pack for crypto. Yeah, I'll pull it up in my trading view really quick. SHIB. SHIB, USD. What's it up right now? 12%. Yeah, it's going. I mean, super trends got by. Everything's kind of ripping over here. What's it at right now? Point. Oh, it's so red though. Like in like from when we've saw the seen the high in the in the seventies. Like this thing is has tanked. Um. But yeah, we'll talk about this Citadel thing tonight in a video. They're idiots. Oh, TLT's popping. Watch for Spy to come down. We might get that test of the fifty now. Little bit of uncertainty. I mean, TLT and Spy have kind of unhinged recent. Like they've kind of like not done what they're supposed to typically in terms of like how markets work and like bond markets and like flow of money. But I don't know. Let's see Amy doing its thing spot. Yeah. I think with this move in TLT, if this continues spy is going to come down and test that 50 and then maybe trend up to a new day high. You got 300 or 8 million SHIB yesterday. There you go. Honestly, with SHIB the way it's at right now, I might buy some. Screw it. It's so low. Like, it easily, if it gets the hype going back. Plus, like, there's something going on with, like, this dude, Ask the Doctor. I haven't seen it. I haven't, like, gotten too much into it. But there's something going on with, like, that. This Ask the Doctor dude is, like, saying it's a scam. And then the, the guy who created SHIB is, like, you're capping. And then they're going back and forth. 
Uh, can I do you a favor and make Tesla pop? Um, okay, ready? Three, two, okay, nope. <laughs> Tesla's up four, five percent today, Gio. Don't chase it, buddy. Amy, is that a good stock? It's a very good stock. I like the stock. Uh, loaded up on Roblox, Apple, and Lucid calls. Nepal, there you go, my man. Those could be sweet. I'm, a, I'm going Pfizer and DocuSign right now. That's where I'm at. Okay, so that's what we were expecting on SPY just now, this little tank off that TLT rip. So let's look here. What's it doing still? Okay, so TLT is finding some little resistance at the 50. Um, Amy coming down a little bit. Uh, U.S. crude oil stocks minus... Hmm, that's not great. That's a little, this could be an oil move. Not chasing, just want more. There you go. Uh, SV Keenan Grace debunked, asked the doctor's tweet yesterday. There you go. Keenan's always got the receipts. Okay. You got, okay, here's the thing. Okay, this Marco guy. All right, here's, here is my opinion on this right now. I personally don't think that it's a fake account. I think it's I think he's a real person. But what I think that they're doing is getting fed information in writing articles and using their supposed credibility on LinkedIn to just feed into some of the theories in the echo chamber that we've been seeing. And I don't really appreciate that. Um you can see the way things are worded in some of it that it's like, eh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Like it, I, I mean, you can, I can be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Like it's perfectly fine. I just, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, um, here's the way I look at it. What we're kind of fighting against is these people that think that they're smarter than us and better and can manipulate markets just based off of their supposed qualifications in financial markets, which in my opinion, I don't give a shit about N none. I care about the information that you're presenting. That's it. It could come from a four-year-old. I don't care. So when somebody, it could be literally anybody comes out and is like, this person did this, like worked here, 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 and here. You guys saw the video when I was just like yelling about Rich Greenfield. I was like, I don't care that he worked for freaking Goldman. I don't give a shit. The other, th and, and the thing is, is like, yeah, like the information, some of it's good, some of it's cool theory. Like we've seen the Evergrande stuff come out before, but like, I don't know. It's just like a weird thing. I just kind of stay away from it. The other thing was, is I believe he started talking about Ken Griffin on house arrest. That was kind of the last straw for me where I was like, I'm just kind of, eh, mm, no, nope, no, thank you. Um, I don't have anything against the guy. Like, I don't care. Like, it's just information. Like if you guys saw Trey's video the other day, like it's that, that's, it's like something that like I've been saying too. It's like, I don't care. It's not like a personal attack if I don't agree with you. It's just, I don't personally agree with the information. I made a mistake yesterday in my video about the derivatives thing. I was looking at the holding companies versus the top 25 commercial banking institutions, which are slightly different. So it's like a, it's just an information thing. Like I don't have anything against anybody. Could it come out that he's just a legit dude trying to help out the community? Yeah, hundred percent. If he is awesome, it's a new audience. That's going to get exposed to potential information. Great. Some things though, you just got to be careful with the type of information you're spreading and how you're spreading it. Like sit it up, Ken Griffin on house arrest. No, that whole thing. I will yell about all day long that it's BS. He could be, here's the thing. He could be on house arrest, but you have to think about the logical arguments for what's going on. It's like, no, his plane hasn't moved, so he's on house arrest. Get out of here. That's not real. The DOJ is investigating. Well, the, the investigation just started. They're not going to put people on house arrest right away. And Biden's D, like uh, head of security is like with him. Well, we also have 4.1 million people yelling that they hate Citadel on Twitter every day. Like, if I was him, I'd be like, yeah, I need security. Like, I don't know what these people are going to do. Like, that, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of neutral on it, but I'm like, yeah. Uh, well, bro, you might win my 1K Lucid really going. Mark, thanks for the super. Uh, I thought it was really weird that he posted 13F to highlight short positions, even though those are puts. Oh, oh man, that's bad. Can't do that. Uh, just just be careful if they're trying to take your shares. Tell them to do something. What? Uh, Simply Smith. Thank you so much for the super. Just make sure the mouse isn't dead. I think we're good. I mean, I I might take a I might take a break today, and 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 I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, what calls do you potentially like for AMC? Anything with some time. Uh, Mark, thanks for the super. Lol Brody, Lucid not stopping. Can you make Peloton go? Huh. 
Oh boy, Lucid, is it really going right now? Oh, she's ripping. I can't make Peloton go. Ooh, Spy is coming up too here. Amy is looking like she wants to get back into that range. 29.30 right now, down 3.3, not doing too bad. GME down 1.14. Okay. I keep saying that, not doing too bad, because I'm so po I'm so bullish on AMC that I don't care about the minus 3.3%. Not doing too bad as in like the last couple of minutes on this nice little stair-stepping move up. So I don't want anybody to be like, down, why are you saying that? I'm preemptive. I'm preempt preemptively doing damage control. <laughs> All right, Kenny is on vacation. It was Thanksgiving. Now it's Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Red vines. What's up, man? Saw a bunch of fake Twitter shills, so I bought more. There you go. Uh, PFE broke all three moving averages. Oh, is it back up now? Nice, nice. That's what we need to see here, Ryan. Let's see. Can I buy any McChickens today? No, no McChickens. Lots of February 18 calls at 35 for AMC. How much are they? It's probably like 200 bucks. Nah, those are probably like four, four, uh, I would say 400 bucks. Yeah, right here. See, I'm good at this. This is the one thing that I can do. Like if you're like, hey, stock, this much time, this expiration, I can pretty much tell you what they should be priced at. And I, my original guess was uh, 400, uh, 200. And then I was like, hmm, February 35, nah, 400. What's the last price on it? 421. If we were playing the guessing game, I'd be really good. <laughs> What's up, STV? Uh, do you think the volume or lack thereof on GME is being influenced by the DRS progress? Now, nah, what is it? Five five point one million shares got DRS or something? Um, that would need to be a lot higher for uh, for it to really affect. The low. How have the? Hold on, let me look. When did everybody start talking about DRS? It was like it was like here, right around here. So this, I mean, this was when was this? So this was when Amy had a big run up. Uh, I think it was like early September. So we've seen the volume start to trickle down. I mean, it has had some higher volume days. Like on November, it had a volume day of what is this? 11 million that's pretty high for gme and then it's kind of coming up here it could i mean it could have an effect if there's like those shares that they're kind of locking up oh amy coming back up to the 50 here here we go this is what we're going to need to see we need it to break back into this range and then it can bounce around but we're going to need it to like really shoot to get these moving averages bending around the other way um spy is really getting some action here people geez i wish i had some settled cash i really would have gone into some of those buy contracts but you know, can't win them all. When you start YOLOing on some plays, especially ones named Pfizer, uh, you can't really do a whole lot. All right, here we go. All right, we're cracking it here, people. Spy new high. Yep, AMC breaking out of this downward channel. Yeah, it could be. Uh, Fidelity now updating on the West Coast. There you go. Shills equals buy. AMC drops equals buy. I'm in this until shorts cover, says Skylar James. There you go. Sorry if that was a little bit loud. I'm getting hyped. I'm hyped up, people. Thank you for doing what you do. January 8th and love the movement. Happy birthday, by the way. Vic, thank you. There she goes. TLT dropping. Is she? Uh, hey, Mark, if TLT starts to tank, you're going to be very, very happy. Uh, because when bond yields start to chill out like that, like tech and all of those types of stocks really start to get going. Um, so what's what are the Qs doing right now? Like QQQ might be just ripping right now. Uh, yeah, QQQ is ripping. Uh, Amazon spokesperson says experiencing inventory shortages on the tests due to increasing demand. Interesting. Yeah, so the queues are ripping. Amy looking like she wants to break into the into the range again, which is, I mean, solid. That's what we need to see out of Amy. That's the first step. TLT at the 200 EMA about to cross for the downside. There we go. Jack, I just bought 125 AMC. Marco, and there you go. Damn, the SNDL cost for April 14 open interest is insane. What? They're really going. All right. QQQ is really ripping right now. We'll check back, back in on Lucid in a minute. What February was it? I don't. M Kriegs, which one? I don't see the. I mean, I see five. Oh, April 14th. Oh, April, not February. Sorry. Jesus. Those are dirt cheap, too. Ooh, that could be a play. That ooh, Amy, here we go. All right, S and DL coming up, not bad. Uh, what is Lucid doing for Mark the Realtor? Is he having a good time today? Oh, he is having a splendiferous time right now, people. 
spy dude spy is going nuclear i mean not really it's only up half a percent but remember what we were saying yesterday that i still think that we could see all-time highs on the spy by the end of the year i mean we got seven days ish not that many trading days but we could do it in two days like a two like a one and a half percent day on spy would get us back up to like 471 ish and then we would only need like a decent green day for us to crack all-time highs um, if we start to get a little bit of bullishness, if they stop fear mongering all the time, then we could really do it. But I don't know. What is dirt cheap? Those SNDL calls. Uh, why calls? Why not 400 in shares instead? That's true. For SNDL and some of those like lower priced stocks, I would typically just go with shares just because the risk to re reward isn't there. Like, think about it. You can hold the shares and like mess around with the price movements, but. The options can expire worthless and they're probably not going to pay as much. All right. So spy is doing its thing here. Lucid coming up. How's Pfizer? Guys are not doing bad. Let's see. Yeah. SNDL is moving. Let's see here. The battle of 28 starting to feel like the battle of 38. Yeah. Apple, Microsoft. I mean, I bet they're ripping. Apple's probably up over a percent now. Ooh, no. Interesting. Dude, I wish I had some freaking settled cash. How much cash settled cash do I have? Four bucks. What could I what could I sell? No, I'm not getting out of anything. I like everything that I have right now. I'm enjoying my positions. Apple ripping. Spy is still coming up. Amy above VWAP now. There we go. Oh, coming down a little bit. But that was the first thing. We need the VWAP test, the 100, to confirm the uh, the trend change. Uh, and then we're going to need to get above that 200. Once we can do all of that, boom, boom season. AMC filed an 8K form. Explain. Okay, so essentially what happened was they extended the payment period of their debt. So there's two ways to take that. And the mainstream media is probably going to take it the bearish way. So the first way is the good way. They have more time to pay off their debt. They can use the cash that they already have to generate more revenue um, for the company in the future. Very good. The way that the media might take it is, oh, they're extending their debt period because they can't pay it right now. So that's what we could end up seeing, but interesting. All right, so AMC coming back down to the 50. The SPY is cooling off a little bit here. It needs a little, I mean, this is just insane right here. It needs to cool off a little bit. Check out Shiba. Yeah, I've got it over here. It's up, thir I've got it up 13%, 14.29. It's starting to go here. I mean, it's not doing bad. Uh, can you explain the pros and cons of an ETF compared to individual stocks? Okay, so an ETF is going to be you being able to diversify without actually having to do like like legit portfolio management. So depending on what you want to do and how much risk you want to take, you go with IWM small caps, um, which is going to come with a potential for a higher return because small caps move more. Um, but it's also going to come with higher risk because when the market starts to freak out, small caps are going to get hit the hardest. Um you could go with tech, NASDAQ. NASDAQ's a lot of tech. Um, you're going to have to pay like a small fee to be in that ETF. Um, but individual stocks, you again, when you think about like diversification and like the different levels of ETFs and like the risk profiles, well, some of them are going to have like uh, when, when you invest in individual stocks, you're always going to have higher risk than if you're going to just put your money into an ETF because there's less diversification. But if you're hunting for big gains, single stocks are going to be a better option. You just have to be okay with taking the risk. There's risk with everything. You just got to like, if you want to just set it and forget it, put in a certain amount of money every month, watch it grow, reinvest the dividends. ETFs are a great way to do it or um, some decent dividend stocks. So when thinking about dividend stocks, though, you got to be very careful because you'll see a high yield, like 8%, 9%. And people will be like, oh my God, I want that. I'll get guaranteed 8% a year. That's awesome. Not necessarily. When the dividend gets paid out, when the ex-dividend ex date happens, there's typically some sell-offs. And higher yield always comes with higher risk. So if somebody comes to you with like a business or an investment opportunity and they're going to say, hey, I'm going to guarantee you 20% run because you cannot guarantee anything. Higher and returns always come with higher risk. Now explain the three times ETN. All right. 
So those are weird. They lever them up with swaps and treasury bonds and underlying assets. They're very risky and they reset every day. So if you're going to trade options on them, they're really, really risky. So what makes up those ETFs is it'll track the underlying, which could be an ETF. Um, and it's supposed to move three times that move every single day. Let's So if it's a 3X or 2X, it'll be 3X or 2X. Let's see. AMC is an IWM, not SPY. Yep. You got $3 settled cash. I'm going to find something for us. You know what, Nepal? I got $4. So maybe I'll be able to make a play that you can't. Ha. No, I mean, I can't do anything. I did that YOLO SPY put the other day and it just expired worthless. And I was like, well, had to do it. <laughs> All right. Amy coming back up above the 50 right now. Looking decent here. UVXY. UVXY is probably tanking today. Probably down. Why? There it is. Yeah, UVXY down 5%. UVXY is a decent hedge. VXX and UVXY are decent hedges if you want to just have them around in your portfolio uh, just in case, like just a hedge. So like, let's say you have a big portfolio and you don't know what the market's going to do over the next, I don't know, six to eight months. And you got a bunch of cash in your account. Now, what you could do is you could hedge in a certain way that let's say you expect the potential loss in your portfolio to be 20%. You don't want that. So what you could do is set up your portfolio in a way where let's say UVXY is going to give you that 10% portfolio return. So you make 10% of your portfolio in a UVXY position. Maybe you buy leaps. Um, maybe you buy puts on something. Um, and then you can basically limit the, limit the potential loss on your portfolio. But again, if the market starts to go up, that UVXY position is going to go down. Hopefully, the gain in your portfolio is going to counteract the loss on your hedge. SPY 470 today, <laughs> Nepal. I don't know. That's risky. <laughs> I mean, we could flip it, but it's not going to work. Like, we'd have to go, if it goes up a thousand percent, we'll make 40 bucks. Have you looked into DeFi? A little bit, like Olympus and a lot of those are pretty cool, but. I don't know. Uh, Mark the Realtor, thanks for the super. Bro, a lot of Visa calls coming in now. $3 on We're $3 away on Lucid. All right. You guys want to hear a scam call calling me? They call me every single day. Ready? Here we go. Hello. Hi there. This is Heather on a recorded line. Heather, I don't care about your recorded line. Shorts can hold out forever? No. Not a hedge fund says buy 500? No. It's only two dollars. Oh, I could get two of them. <laughs> I'll be rolling in it. Shorts can no shorts. Shorts cannot hold out forever. Let's see. Puts on Heather. Yeah, is that for car insurance? I don't know. They call me every day, and I'm like, leave. Heather sounded nice. Heather sounded like a robot. Uh, P S E C. Let's see over here. What do we got going? Oh, man. Very, very low volume. Not moving a whole lot. What does this thing do? No data available. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> what? All right. We're buying phantom companies now. All right. Let's see. What did Heather want? I don't know. She probably wanted to talk to me about Medicare, but I'm 22. So up 150% on YOLO spy calls. Josh, there you go. Dude, you missed the opportunity to extend your vehicle's extended warranty. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I get someone that calls me every day to sell me windows. I tell them I rent. <laughs> What's the average uh, age of a short? Let's see. Uh, average days on loan, which is slightly different, but it's the best estimate that we have. 63 days, but it's come down a very significant amount. Spy is just mooning today. Yeah. Dude, one time these people were calling me every day and I was really tired of it and I was pissed off one day. So I said the most wild thing that I could ever say to another human being calling you on the phone and they never called me again. So here's a piece of advice. If you don't want, if it's an actual person, if you don't want them to ever call you again, think of the craziest thing that you can say, say it to them and never call them again. It works every time. 
but Heather is a robot. So like, I can't really like yell at Heather. Like Heather's not a real person. She didn't do anything wrong. January 21st, Max Payne uh, is 22. I don't know. Let me look because we have it right now. It was low. It was very low. I mean, there's so many calls. Like it's insane. What is it? Yeah, 22. That's insane. Uh, Keith, thank you so much for the super. Can you look at ALLK 90% drop? Good time to buy. It depends on what the reason for the 90% drop is. Probably not. If it dropped 90%. Oh, what the hell is this? Biofunk. They might have gotten something denied. So that's not good. Uh, news. Down. Jeffrey's downgrade an hour ago. I mean, analyst downgrade disappointing drug data. That's what it is. So no, that one's that one's a no go for me. How's Prague doing today? Prague in the red. All right, what do we got over here? We want Pfizer. We want. Oops. Oh, Amy coming back to VWAP here. Let's see what happens. Spy is still going on an absolute moon mission today, looking decent. Matt Stuck suspenders. What's up, man? Uh, if we consolidate uh, and end the week above 29, it's still bullish. Yeah, what are we at right now? 29.46. I want to close above 30.72. That's what I want. I want one day to close above 30.72. That's what I want. Uh, let's see. Did someone, at least one person, listen to me about the Airbnb 165 this morning? I didn't even see you say that. Vix, that spy call, I'm up 50 cents right now. Better hurry before it gets too expensive for you. Damn. You can get some gumballs out of the gumball machine, Nepal. Crushing it over there on those yellows. If those hit, like, you know what, dude? Screw it. <laughs> I'll hop in with you on these. Let's see if I can get a fill. This is the this is wild behavior out of us on Spy right now. Are these dailies? They are dailies. What are they? 470s? Uh-oh. The ask is four. I can only get one of them. I'm getting one, though. <laughs> Inner server error. The order existed. What are you saying right now? What? Hey, hold on now. Are you glitching out on me? That's not allowed. Vix, you know I'm an ape, but being pinned at Max Payne Weekly is getting old. Yeah. Let's try this again. Bye. Order requested. All right, I got it. Nepal, I'm in on that with you. All right. Hold it until expiration. Dude, if these hit, this will be the best trade of all time. <laughs> Four bucks. All right, here we go. Uh, AMC at 29.45 down. SCB going crazy. Someone slap, stop him. Nah, I'm good. So if I hit 470 today, it's going to be a very Merry Christmas. I mean, I'll make like, I don't know. It's the, that'll be insane. That'll be wildness. All right, here we go. Uh, 470 for the win. I uh, should have got it earlier when it was three. I'm going to feel stupid if this thing actually prints. Dude, we're just messing around now. Like, I have $4 settled in my account. Imagine if I just were to play around with this $4 and flip it into, like, 10 grand. <laughs> just keep, like, YOLO, 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 YOLO. We can do a challenge. If these hit decently, we're going to go nuts. Huge drop. Stop it. Don't scare me like that. Ooh, GME getting some candles here. It's outside of the range now. Down 0.34. Not bad. Fives are coming up. That's what we like to see. Yeah, also, if you guys don't mind, for everybody new that's in here, uh, just dropping some likes on the stream. It just helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, thank you guys so much for showing all that support on the channel recently. You guys are awesome. Uh, let's see here. ALK, -L 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 no go. I'm not touching it. Um, ENSC. Nepal, I'm up 50 cents. <laughs> this is great all right three percent on ens what are we looking at here i'm curious which one's this biotech all right it's ripping it's doing good gme coming up here uh-oh uh-oh nepal uh-oh we got a red candle that's not gonna help our yolo apple new high yeah pfizer squirrel stop it <laughs> It must kill the hedge funds to see us enjoying ourselves so much while the blood pressure is through the roof. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what else do you want me to do? Sit around here being sad that we're down? I mean, I'm not going to sell anyway. So, like, what's the point? I was just up $1.50. I'm still up 50 cents. This is great. I can go to the gumball machine. GME doing decent. It's broken out of its range right here. Amy coming back down to its 50, just kind of chilling out. Uh, let's see here. 3.3% in the red right now for Amy. SIAC is melting. Yeah. 
the ball. I'm up 12.5%. <laughs> Where's my liquid IV? Where is that? Oh, it's over there. It's far away. I still got some rain left, though. Spy does need to chill out a little bit here. So, I don't know. I'm holding this YOLO call. <laughs> no short shares available on Prague? I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's see. Nope, there's shares. 1.55 million borrowed today. Utilization is only, I mean, it's really high, 96.45, but it's not enough to be like, oh, like you, there's no shares left. 100% utilization would be there's no shares left that they're willing to lend. TLT testing VWAP. Oh boy, hold on. Yeah, TLT coming up. We're going to need TLT to go big red. Might as well have fun. There's nothing else really going on today. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to YOLO this $4 spy contract and see what happens. This is, a, if you guys don't get it, I'm joking. Like, I'm literally messing around. I have $4 of settled cash. Making it work for me. We're investing over here. Uh, 42 into 40. No, no, no. Not $44. $4. $4 into 10 grand. That's what we're going to do on this spy call. Sounds like a horse race. Yeah. I was just on Matt's channel and he said he isn't wasting screen space with what? Uh, I'll be back. Got to go to the front office and pick up a package. There you go. IWM and Spy is just going. Yeah, they're ripping today. I mean, they're, it's coming down a little bit here. Amy, we're going to need it to start coming back up though. Joking? I just dumped 10K into the Spy 470s. Dude, you have like 2,500 contracts. Two, like 2,000 contracts. Please don't. Please do not do any such thing. Let's see here. All right, Amy, come on. Back up to VWAP. Let's do it. I mean, we're having fun with the spy contracts right now. TLT moving down here. Uh, let's see. Anybody, let me know if TLT is going to make a big move to the downside because then it'll everything will just print again. All right, GME only down 0.2% right now. Looking good today on GME. Pretty flat. It was pretty flat yesterday too. Was GME green yesterday? Little green? I think maybe a little red. Let's see. News. Biden says gas prices are coming down to historic averages. How does that work when natural gas is just ripping? Uh, Crypto Hippie. Thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it, man. Vix, brother, can you take a look at Portillo's? P-L-T-O. Isn't that like a, like a restaurant? No, that's Prince... ELTO. I'm not. Hold on. This isn't showing up for me on here. Let me check trading gear real quick. I don't see anything. I see polite. A yeah, I don't see anything on that. On that. I can't afford to buy four dollars. Nah. Uh, just put a next month's rent on spy four seventy call expiring today. Please never do that. PTLO. Gotcha. 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 Did I mess it up or PTLO? Okay. So I'm an idiot. Sorry. Portillo's. Isn't this a restaurant? I'm pretty sure it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant company that serves Chicago street food. Interesting. They're public. That's kind of wild. Uh, I mean, is this earnings? Do they, they have earnings? Is that what happened? No. Interesting. I don't, I've never seen this thing. That's kind of wild. All right, more news. Hold on. We got some news updates here, people. Biden to convene competition council in January. That could be some antitrust stuff. Watch out for tech. All right, Amy coming back up to VWAP here. Looking decent. Uh, They're trying to pump their stocks. They're friends. Who? Hold on, let's see. Uh, Twitter EU patent application messaging on... Uh, yeah, no, I don't know about that. Portillo's is a Chicago staple. Yeah, I've never been to Chicago, but that's pretty cool that they're public. That's actually kind of wild. All right, let's see, Spy. What are we doing here? Uh, settling down a little bit, coming up, made a new high. Nepal, we're probably printing on these $4 <laughs> yolos. I'm up $1.50. We're make, we're McChickening over here. I'm up 37%. <laughs> 
<laughs> Honestly, that might be the move now with the spy YOLOs. Like if I'm going to do the YOLO, just buy like the wildest out the money contract and then just hope it just rips right away and just quick flip them. You know what? When I have more settled cash, we can do that. Just crazy spy YOLOs. And just if we if we hit, we hit. If we don't, we're going to go down really fast. Yeah, we're killing it right now on the 470s. <laughs> Did I see your question, Jorge? Not, uh, they're trying to pump their stocks there. for. Oh, here we go. Uh, why are people talking about me, Kevin's program, about short interest that he couldn't show? Why couldn't he show it if he paid for it uh, with all the BS financial education? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's interesting. I'll watch the video to see. I mean, if he shows the software, we can figure it out. Um, I don't have any Tesla. Mark, how's Lucid doing for us? How are we doing? Oh, she's looking spicy. Ooh, aiming with a nice little pop here, people. Here we go. Down 2.16% now. Uh, it just, ooh, and it closed above the 100 too. If it uses this as support and gets back above the 200, that's going to be a nice confirmation of a reversal. And then we'll start coming to the upside. But overall, the trend today on AMC is down. But over the last 40 minutes or so, we have been moving to the upside. I mean, same thing with the market. The market's been ripping. Let's see. He said it was 3K a month, no uh, subscription service. He probably gets sued if he shows that to thousands of viewers. That's honestly, that's probably true. Let's see. How much am I up on spot now? Dollar fifty, crushing it right now. Airbnb calls up 90% today. Take profits. And I think 50% off the top is reasonable. Yeah, I mean, I would typically trim half at 100% just to make the play free. Then you're just playing with house money, but you do, you, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Like you can just YOLO it and just ride it. All right, Amy coming back down to VWAP right now. Uh, I mean, it's looking like it wants to get going a little bit here. Let's see, GME, very, very flat on the day. Let's see what happens with Amy here, people. He didn't show it to us. He had a whiteboard. Interesting. 3000 a month, that's expensive. That is not cheap. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, should have got that SHIB YOLO up 15%. No, the, no, 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 no. No, it's not up that now. I mean, it's up 13%. I would have been flat if I got SHIB. AMC 31 today? Eh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's kind of going to bounce around. If we can break out of this range and get some more buying moment, like buying volume, then yes. But, I mean, it's kind of SPY is doing its thing. It's up 0.67%. I mean, we're YOLO over here. <laughs> We're YOLO and AMC filed an 8K. Yeah, so the 8K was just an extension of their debt payment, uh, which in my opinion, very, very bullish. It frees them up to use some of that capital now in order to generate revenue in the future. So very bullish for me. The media could twist it in a way that could be like, oh, they can't pay their debt. They're extending it. It's like, fuck off. Uh, I think he pays more than that for Bloomberg every month. Bloomberg's like two grand a month. Two grand or 2,500. But the terminal, I think, is expensive. Natural gas going up 6% on... Interesting. Oh, is, are those futures? Just transportation fees? Interesting. Sundial, Sundial's running? Yeah, Sundial's looking good. I mean, was there news on Sundial or is it just ripping? Center calls for federal smoky smoky standard to measure... Oh, okay. I mean, I feel like that's bearish. Illinois announces $45 million smoky smoky funded grants to support community reinvestment interesting that's not bad i mean but that's u.s news like what's tilray doing in in all those those would be the ones that should i mean that makes not a lot of sense right now if the u.s is doing stuff and the canadian one is ripping all right fives are doing all right here spy is consolidating at these highs amc broke down below vwap let's see here Kevin didn't want to cross copyright lines, so he used the whiteboard. Oh, that's fine, guys. Like, I've uh, been a member of his for a while. It still doesn't have all the reported short interest. Interesting. So, Ortex might still be better. But, uh, ooh, Geo, Tesla ripping. Mark the realtor. Oh, ooh, that's not Tesla. Oh, my God. Where's Geo at? There you go. Oh, Geo was the one that told me. What's up? Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. All right, TLT. Tilt. Yeah, watch SPY come down a little bit here. TLT is breaking out a little bit. I mean, it's outside of the range. Let's see what happens. But it has been going up a decent amount. Flat Apple, uh, 175 calls at over a buck from 58 expired this week. May re-enter at some point. You took profits? That's good. I mean, you crushed it. 
a held off offerings until 2022 no, no 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 it doesn't matter offerings offerings it doesn't offerings like we control the offerings i want to make that very clear there's only 46 47 000 shares that they have left to offer right now they want to sell them by all means we do that we do like 10 20 x that in a in a minute candle it's fine um if they want to offer more shares they're going to have to do another proxy vote and we're going to vote on it so if we want it as a community then it will happen if we don't then it won't happen so he's going to ask um and it's going to be up to us to decide if we want that or if we don't want that in my opinion if it's not that insane if it's like 25 million shares i personally would say go for it it's just my opinion he can do whatever he wants. Like I would say, yes, raise more money, do more stuff that's going to benefit the company long-term because think about it. Even though it's not technically a fundamental play on AMC, it's a short squeeze play. The sh Think about the short thesis. The basis for their thesis is on fundamentals. If you can wipe out the short thesis and it makes no sense, they have a fiduciary duty to their shit, to their investors to be like, okay, if the, if the, if this position changes and the investment changes, we have a duty to you to get out of it. So I, I mean, I want to give them as much opportunity as they can to really crank. Plus, at the same time, if we if we have another run up, here's the thing: if we have another big run up, and our new like, let's say the floor price, so the floor like the new low in the consolidation level on AMC is over a hundred, and they want to offer twenty five million shares, that's at least. $2.5 billion for AMC, I think, right? No, is that right? Yeah, $2.5 billion. It's 25 million shares. We trade that more than a day. We trade 500 million in a day sometimes. Okay, you want to sell them? Go for it. Raise the money. Now we're good. Like, honestly, that's got to be, like, honestly, if at, it, here's the here's the thing that we he could really do is do something that's going to, like, really spook the shorts, have it run up, then it's the new four price, price over 100, and then we start to see, okay, now we're going to be a little bit more willing for that to happen. Then they all, then they do the, I mean, there's a lot of things that he can do. So I don't know. I want him to have as much firepower as possible. Because imagine if he has 2.5 billion extra dollars, acquisition, 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 and then the revenue just goes whoop, free cash flow positive, even actual profitability, positive EPS. What happens then to the shorts? Uh, they're fucked. TLT coming up right now. Watch buy coming down. These 470 YOLOs. Oh, I think we got the duck gang in here coming in. We have the ducks. Is that what's going on here? What's up, ducks? How are we doing, everybody? Only if they sell the share slowly into the market. Yeah, 25 million is just a drop in the bucket. Yeah, think about that. It, it's like a give and take situation. Like if they want to, if 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 we get like over like, I don't know, all time highs again, and they're like, yeah, 25 million shares, I would say go for it run it um i know a lot of people are going to be not okay with that but you have to think logically like you got to think logically 500 million shares which what he was originally going to do is in my opinion i don't like i'm like no don't do that but we were trading at a lot lower of a price now that he was trying to raise 5 billion that's what he was trying to do a little over 5 billion duck gang what's up people what's up all the quackers in here my name isn't Justin Frozen Peas and Meat Juice. Yo, yo, yo. Just popped on. Booyah. What's up, SCV? What's up, man? Or they could just sell a billion popcorns. That too. Diluting more shares. Me gone. Sorry, hey, you've already diluted enough. Retail is giving you $2 billion and save your company on the brink of death. Just my opinion. Eh. Uh, okay, that's another good point. The popcorn situation. If they can really crank with the popcorn and, and they really start cranking with revenue, um, then no, they don't need the offer. But like if it's 25 million shares, who gives a shit? I don't care. If it's going to give them like $2.5 billion, run it. If we're at those prices, if we're at these prices right now, I'd be like, it's just, it doesn't make a lot of sense for them to do it. Like I wouldn't say to do it. Um, because what would they get right now? At 29, they'd probably get a little over a billion, billion and a half. And it's good, but it's not, I mean, it's not gonna make a whole lot of a difference. They couldn't just like do the offering, pay off their debt. Like it wouldn't happen. Um, what he was trying to do with that 500 million share offering was pay off all the debt. That's what he was trying to do. If we were debt free right now, even though our float would be huge, it'd be a little bit of a different story. Um, but again, like there's positives and negatives to every single thing that's going to come out. It's not going to be clear cut, black and white. It's not going to happen. 
I support them coming out with their own crypto coin. Me too. That could be another good way to do it. If uh, Tony's idea of popcoin comes out and they can actually generate revenue from that and it's like not going to dilute the equity, but they're going to get into the crypto side as well. Oh man, go for it all day long. They're going to make some fees on the trading. They're going to make the initial capital raise from that. Awesome idea right there. I love that idea. I'd be more worried about the FUD than the actual dilution. That's what killed the run in June. It also started the run in June. You got to think about that. We started the run on the conclusion of an offering. Popcoin is the best name. It is. It really is. Yeah. Also, if you guys don't mind, uh, for all the new people filtering in, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, just helps out with the algo. Ooh. Nepal, spies coming back up here, people. We are young. So I had so uh, for all the new people that are in here, I had four dollars of settled cash in my account. Um, so Nepal uh, was like, "Those buy four seventies are four bucks," and I was like, "Screw it." <laughs> so I think I'm up a McChicken right now. Nope, no longer. Theta's gonna get me. Theta, Theta's knocking on my door. Let's get to 470. Dude, if we got to 470 today, those contracts would be ridiculous. What's up, SCV? Just finished finals yesterday. Shang Fang, there you go. AMC Ortex, absolutely, guys. You guys have been very well behaved on the Ortex updates today, so you guys can have as many of them as you want. Let's see here. We've got 19.12% estimated short interest. We've got pretty low cost to borrow. Utilization fell down below 80, 2.35 uh, days to cover. Uh, but with the low volume that we're seeing on AMC of ah, 16 million so far, it's coming up a little bit, but not too crazy. Um, the days to cover is probably going to start popping up. Ooh, ooh, spy. Come on now. Come on now. Give me that McChicken. Come on. No, nope, style down 50 cents. Darn. Good morning, STV. What's up, Darstar? How you doing, man? Just got my Spider-Man NFT. Let's go. Oh, Amy popping back up above this 50 now. We're going to need to see it really hang out in this range. Or if it's going to keep rejecting off of some of these levels, we're going to be in a little bit of a consolidation or downtrend day today, uh, which is fine. I mean, we've had some solid green days. TLT using the VWAP as support. Watch out for SPY. I was up three bucks. Now I'm only up a dollar. SPY coming back to pick us up. It better. SPY, TLT, I mean, it is coming down a little bit, but it's, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It broke through VWAP. Let's see what happens with the SPY here. Pretty good. I'm happy I bought some AMC, GME, and Tesla today. There you go. Let's see. Dun, 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 Let's see. Isn't an AMC popcorn a risky venture if they're on the balance sheet? No. It's a capital. No, because they don't own the coins. They would just sell them. It would just be an ICO. They would just sell it. And then they would, I mean, they could own some of them. But again, think about it. it it's It would be net positive all the time because they would create the coins. They would sell them at whatever price. It would probably get bid up by retail. And then whatever it is, I mean, yeah, there would be some balance sheet risk, but it, it, either way, it's net positive. Like, let's say Popcoin goes up 100% and then goes down 50%. Well, it's better than where we are at right now with zero of that money. But either way, they would raise a bunch of money for it from it anyway. So, I mean, I, I think it's a great idea. Um, and it's definitely something that should be considered. No, 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 no. Tendies, this is just a, uh, it's just a, um, what do you call it? An idea popcorn can you guys still see my christmas tree sort of here's my christmas tree kind of looks like me see all right everybody it's your birthday happy birthday uh, nepal it's not my birthday but i do get wished happy birthday every single day so that does tend to happen let's see here well, I love that name. It's a great name. At least they wouldn't be able to short popcorn. No. I mean, they might be able to, but can we get some Christmas music going? I don't think I can. I don't know how to. I got to figure that out. Ooh, Nepal. Here we go. Nepal, these YOLOs are playing. I'm up a McChicken. Let's go. Let's go. Spy. Okay. I prob like We're going to do this. Honestly, this would be a fun challenge if I literally just tried to flip YOLOs. 
from $4 and see how far I could take it with my unsettled cash or with the settled cash that I have in the account. We started with $4. Uh, SNDL looks good. SNDL is popping up today. Amy is now back above that 50. It's curling up a little bit here. I mean, everything's starting to bend into the upward direction, but let's see. Oh man, spy. Here we go. Honestly, if I made $10 on this, I'd be thrilled. If uh, this might be the new spy trading strategy, just like deep YOLOs, like deep YOLOs. If we think it's going to go up, just deep YOLOs on the daily, on the, on the one day to or zero day to expiration. That would be sick. Or text on SNDL. Yeah. It's, oh, uh, we did it earlier. It's like 10%. It's something crazy, I think. Or that was Peloton. I'm not sure. Maybe it's higher because SNDL wasn't that nuts. Uh, 16.63, yeah, uh, a decent cost to borrow, high utilization. But with that high utilization, I would expect to see a higher cost to borrow. Days to cover, solid, 3.89. Um, very, very high float, 439 million shares on loan. But again, it's so cheap. It is up a set TLT coming up. That's not great. SNDL is up like 6 7% today. Uh, no, 4.13. Still good. Uh, Amy's down about three. We got Spy selling off a little bit here, but GME down 0.27, having a little bit of a flat day here. But still, I mean, I'm trying to make that $2 for three big chickens. Dude, it round me that it's only like the value menu. I can't even, I like, they, they're crushing me. Pfizer, what are you doing? How's DocuSign doing? Terrible. Horrendous. You're up $2.50. I'm up $1.50. What can we get for a dollar fifty? <laughs> Nvidia and AMD are ripping. Yeah, create a wax wallet and oh, interesting. I don't know. Uh, I'm up ten dollars on my four seventy call. I'm selling at fifteen and buying lunch. <laughs> See, this stop doing. It. This is why we shouldn't have said this. Now everybody's buying these calls. They're going to expire worthless. They're going to expire worthless. Everybody, any money that you put into this contract that we were talking about as a joke is going to expire worthless. Just saying. So be careful. You're up $3. <laughs> You're rich. All right, people. Here we go. Apple 175 for tomorrow. Swept. Ooh, call sweeps. Interesting. I like those. I almost never buy puts. Just bought 4C6 puts that expire tomorrow. They can't expire tomorrow. There's no expiration date tomorrow. Ooh, news. News. Nope. No news. All right, people. Here we go. Come on. If everyone buys those calls, no, we're not doing that. We're not. I mean, I'm going to sell them at some point. But the problem is, is that if you you can't like buy them and then like flip them to people like you can't. That's so not allowed. If spy goes flat, it will eat up those 470s. If, if spy goes to 469.99, they're going to be zero. You're wrong. Options expire tomorrow. Oh, you're right, because it's Thursday. You're right. I forgot about that. Interesting. Wait, so we get two expiration days on the spy? Ooh, Amy popping here. Yeah, you're right. So market is closed Friday, so the expiration date is tomorrow. All right, Amy, 2953 right now, down 77 cents right now. Popping back up above VWAP. That's not bad, people. Here we go. We're going to get some rockets and basketballs? I think we should. I think we should. No, there's an 8K filing. It's fine. And then I think it's good news. I mean, we're selling off a little bit today because of it. But did you already talk about the Gasparino tweet from yesterday? Yeah, how he's a big poopy head. Let's see. Elon Musk sells an additional $32 million of Tesla. How is Tesla reacting to that? Doesn't care. <laughs> I love that. Elon sold so much Tesla over the past couple over the past month and you've seen nobody say Tesla to zero. Just because it's AMC and the CEO wants to sell shares after a couple of years. Spy 500s are only a dollar. They're probably zero. What are we at right now? Am I up on these? Oh, still up a dollar 50. That's great news about Tesla. <laughs> All right, we need AMC over VWAP. That's what we need. That's the first that's the first step. Uh, MTTR, January 30 call sweep. Just saw that one. Interesting. Uh, can you explain the filing? I thought it was good. Debt extension. It is good. It is very good. It can be taken the wrong way in terms of like the media just being like, oh, they're going to, they're going to, what do you call it? They're going to 
just not be able to pay off their debt soon. So they need to do extend it, but like screw them. They're wrong. Like it's bullish. They can use that money for like a lot of other things. Tesla. Ooh, now it's coming down a little bit. Uh Oh, uh Oh, Tesla. Pfizer red. No, nah, Pfizer's still up half a percent. Chilling. We need a spy pup so I can upgrade to a big Mac combo. We do. We do. That's what we need. Wait. And if they do that, Price drops. It could lead them to close their position. And if you do, they will have to cover their shorts. No, they wouldn't have to cover their shorts. Yesterday, I was up $20. Now, I'm up $5. Oh, boy. No more Big Macs for us. Let's see here. Gasparino being an idiot. As always. Let's see here. Alrighty. Quick hello. What's up, Burhi? How you doing? Ortex for Prague? Yeah, we can do a little Ortex update for Prague. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, 20, 22.49% estimated cost of borrow is getting up there again. 96.45% utilization. Decent. Uh, days to cover very low though. Ooh, Amy, what's happening here, my man? Amy selling off a little bit here. Uh, 29.22 right now, down about 3.5. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, no, no, I use, no, that's not how we do things around here. I, you can do whatever you want. Um, I personally not going to be buying any puts on AMC on any time frame. Is it possible for them to close their positions due to liquidity? What do you mean? Like days to cover. We've been talking about that for months. Fidelity's working again. Uh-oh, we might be eating ramen noodles. I think I'm still up $1.50. I should be. All right, let's see. Am I still up $1.50 on these? Yep. Oh, maybe not anymore with this little red candle coming in here. Uh-oh, people. That's what the technicals say. No, that's fine. I mean, it, it, I mean, we are in a downtrend today. I'm just personally not going to be buying puts on AMC because, like, think about it. They run in the money. The market maker's short. I don't want to like. I don't. I don't want to be in part of having the market makers have to short more shares, and create more selling volume in the market, even if it's like fifty shares. Like, uh, not for me. The meet Kevin effect is real. The course are 2250s up 40% since this morning. Uh, when he sends alerts. Yeah. Theta is just time decay. So it's like as more time goes by, your contracts will decay in value because the probability of them going in the money, if they're out of the money, gets lower and lower and lower. Let's see here. We will all be eating ramen noodles and flying first class to see under the airports in our Lambos. What about jets? Whoever thought of jets? I kind of like jets. <laughs> I'll gladly keep eating Mr. Noodles so I can keep buying AMC, says the Subi Cygnus. There you go. Let's see here. Thanks, bud. Andrew, anytime. Uh, 2921 right now and Amy down 3.6 GME down half. We've got uh, spy coming back up a little bit. Not too crazy. University of Edinburgh study follows South Africa study finding similar reduction in hospitalization risk. Ooh, interesting. Could be a spy pop here. Unusual whales. You want the tweet or you want like, I don't have the, the service. I could get it though. Unusual. 
Yeah, nothing. Biden gas prices have fallen 13 minutes ago. Nothing crazy. Let's see here. Let's see. All right. Spy coming back down. It might test this 50 before it's going to start heading back to the upside. House lawmakers probe Live Nations. Oh, hold on. Live, uh, Astroworld. Uh-oh. Hold on. What is it? LYV? LYV might be selling off here, people. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> this is a news play. So House lawmakers probe Live Nations' role in the Astroworld situation. So watch this thing. Let's see if it keeps selling off. It just fell below the 200. If it closes below and starts making another red candle, mm, it could be coming down. Who knows, though? What's wrong with AMC today? Nothing. I mean, it, they, they've, they've taken out a bunch of shares on loan recently. All right, this may not do it. Um, this is the thing about news plays. You, I mean, you got to be very careful. If it's going to be like really, really bad news or really, really good news, yeah, you can play them. But like this is just a probe. Um, okay, so it closed above. It's coming back down below, though. Let's see. I mean, I don't have any settled cash to play it, but let's just watch it and see what happens. I think we should have the option to argue with Theta. That's like their probability, man. I think it'll still go. That's funny. Live Nation YOLO puts. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to watch it. I don't have anything, but they're probing. So this is the actual news thing that came through. House lawmakers probe Live Nation's role in the Astroworld tragedy. Uh, US uh, FAA proposes... Fixes to Boeing 777 engines after failures. Uh-oh. Well, Boeing. What's going on with Boeing? Boeing coming down a little bit here, but that's like with the spy. So that's not too crazy. Yeah. So Live Nation still coming down here. Let's see. I mean, this isn't like a, a I mean, this is like a $2 move, but since when we saw it, it was at like, I think it was right here. No. It was right here that we saw it, sub the 200. So 116. So it has not moved a whole lot since we've seen it. But it looks like it's going to keep coming down. Uh, AMC, 29.10 right now. Uh, it's BS. They have the largest insurance policy. Yeah, they might. But like that's still not good for their business. Ugh. Let's see. Uh, so actions design. So this is for Boeing. Actions designed to contain debris after three failures. All right, so watch Boeing. Uh, Live Nation, it, this doesn't look like a big one. It hasn't even gone red on the day yet. So AMC coming down a little bit, 29.06. Spy testing the 50 right now. Let's see if it's going to get this test and then come back up. Because uh, if not, I'm not going to be able to get a McChicken. Let's see here. Bull trap for the $30 strike. I mean, this is not a bull trap right here. I mean, it could have been, but not really. Okay, spy bouncing off the 50. That's good. Live Nation still hanging out below the 200. Boeing hanging out at VWAP right here. So those two different news things that came out, very, very flat. Typically, when I do these news plays, if I see them really quickly, it's like 100 or 200 bucks. that You got to play them small because you'll see stuff like this where you'll catch them here. And it's, uh, it's already made the move. Like, it's not going to continue. Sometimes they'll really drop or really pop after you see it. And those are the best ones because the market isn't pricing in that big of a move for the stock in that time period. So if you're buying the weeklies on a news slip, so Live Nation right now coming back. Um, I don't know. We've seen these before. I typically like to not spend a lot of time in the news ones, like maybe 10 minutes. Because if it's not going to make the move then on the actual news coming out, then it's probably not going to make the move. AMC making a, again, a little green candle here at 29.13, not doing too terrible. Step your game up, bro. We calculate with Big Macs over here. You know what? J&J &J FDA approval. Uh-oh. Okay, J&J &J not. Hold on. What about Pfizer? What was it for? That's like on. Nepal, you're sending me all over the place. So, all right, Pfizer coming down. Is J and J popping here off that news? So, if J and J is going to get a pop off the approval, Pfizer could sell off. J and J is not moving. Spies, I mean, spies moving down a little bit here. It's still testing the fifty. Uh, let's see what happens. I mean, it's up 0.63 percent. Not bad. Amy coming back up a little bit here. Tesla doing all right. All right, let's put GME back up here. 
Fan J is too big for it to make a big difference. True. Uh, could AMC hit 40 at the beginning of Jan January? It definitely could, in my opinion. Uh, Vuzi got good news. That's like the glasses, right? Those cool glasses. Yeah, Pfizer coming down to uh, the 100 and the VWAP. Hoping AMC is not creating an inverted cup and handle here around the 2880. Yeah, I mean, doesn't in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. Like you can, like the short-term tacticals to see where it's going to go on the day. Yeah, helpful. Long-term trend. Yeah, definitely helpful. Wyckoff, very helpful. Um, but like, does that inverse head and shoulders mean that the shorts are going to win? No. Does some bullish uh, signal mean that we're going to go nuclear? Not it could. Not necessarily though. Um, I mean, it is getting some support around here. It's coming back up. Come on, Amy. Spy's getting a little bit of a bounce off this 50 right now. Not bad. Pfizer coming up. GME doing its thing. Only down half a percent right now. Not too bad. Got my Spidey NFT. So stoked. Can't wait to go rewatch the movie. Jazz Cabbage. Cabbage. There you go. Very helpful. Yeah. Uh, could AMC hit 40? Yeah. Cassie, it definitely could. Uh, does Airbnb test 170 again today? Will you pull it up and check for me? Por favor. Yeah. Uh, Airbnb 150. Uh, how much is it up? Mm, probably not. Probably not. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow, though. Um, I mean, think about it. It's already up 1.5%. It's, I mean, Airbnb has been kind of selling off, though, hasn't it? Yeah, Airbnb has been on this downtrend, so it really could get going. Where is it going to... Okay, so where's the 100, 171? Where's the 50 at, though? Well, come on. Let me... One, 168.27. So that, there's going to be a little bit of resistance there at the 50 MA. So watch that. 168.57 on there. Uh, Spy hanging out a little bit here. Let's get Pfizer back up. Eh, Pfizer. Lucid running. Mark the Realtor, where you at, man? Is Lucid going? Is Mark going to be happy today? Mark, we're within. Mark. Mark the Realtor, where you at, buddy? Voozy deployed Voozy smart glasses. There you go. Yeah, also, if you guys don't mind, for everybody new filtering in right now, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, it just helps with the algorithm um, and getting some people in here. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of your support recently. It means a whole lot. Lucid is going nuclear. Let's see. The UK just reported 106,000 new cases. Yeah, but like, how bad is it? What are the hospitalization numbers? That's what I want to know. That's it, guys. Good luck uh, for tomorrow. Will death go up? All right. Lucid. Yeah, Lucid's going right now. Nepal, we should have just YOLO'd on Lucid, man. Why didn't we do that? Still up a dollar on Spy. I'm up 50 cents. Mark needs 43. It's ripping right now, though. Five and a half percent. There she goes. Lucid's about to get nutty again. Here's the thing with Lucid. So when Lucid starts to go, it's going to, I think it's one of those stocks, just like, like similar to AMC. It's got the hype. So when Lucid gets the hype going and it starts having those big days, it's going to go. Rivian ripping. There you go. Rivian was, yeah, Rivian, yeah, Rivian getting a pop. Is Tesla going? I mean, are all the EVs just really going right now? Tesla's not getting a pop off this. So what's going on with all of the smaller EVs? I mean, Tesla might not be getting this pop right now just because of um, Elon selling some shares. Like that could easily be what it is. Let's see here. Not charge point. Maybe it's not the... I kind of yellowed 42 call. There you go, up 115%. There you go, Nepal. Not charge point, though. Yeah, charge point. Ooh, spy coming back up here. Chicken land. All right, GME down 0.65. Amy uh, down 3.5. I mean, it's trying to, it's trying. Like, it's not, it, it'll sell off and then try. It's just not, ooh, spy coming back up here. Looking, what's the, what's it at right now? Yeah, it's looking for that day high here. Here we go. Still up only 50 cents. That hurts. I can get a gumball. I need to find a gumball machine. There it is. New day high. Come on. Now I'm up $1.50. We're in McChicken land, people. 
eight for four seventy today. Hey man, <laughs> if it goes to four seventy, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I'm literally gonna lose my mind if it goes to four seventy. Spy is ripping right now. I mean, I've only the highest I've seen this contract go is up a dollar fifty. And it's a joke, people. This is literally me having fun with four dollars in my account, trying to flip it and have some fun. Uh let's see. Matic. That's a crypto, isn't it? Let's see. Fail to break 2925. Could look bad. It's out right now. It broke 2920. I mean, it's at 2933 right now, coming back up to the 50. I mean, the thing that I watch is always this range. When it's inside this range, it's fine. If it's going to use the bottom end of this range as resistance, then it's it's going to be like th th that's what the spy is doing right here. It's using the top of the range as support. AMC has been kind of using this a little bit of this bottom range. I mean, it's kind of been that VWAP uh, as resistance. Mark the realtor. There he is. We were just talking about you. Lucid's doing good, man. Uh, bro, Lucid, 275 to go, and I'll send a thousand. Dude, that's crazy. You don't have to do that, but I do want to see you make a bunch of money on these Lucid calls. You're 5.6. It's going right now, too. It is really, really ripping. You got your NFT? There you go. Mostly Tesla carrying the spy. Yeah, I mean, we did get some good economic data today. What's the high? 466.67. I mean, we're at the previous the previous high right now, 466.56. Uh, Lucid doing good. She's getting ready. YOLO that 1,000 on the SPY 470s. I would. I would like, I would, but I can't. I won't be able to do it today. I would be able to do it in January. 37% on the SPY YOLOs. But technically not because it's just people bidding up the contracts and that's just what the ask has gone to. Uh, let's see. BBIG going to release uh, X dividend date last minute. Are they releasing a dividend? Are they having a dividend? Just hit the like, says Barney. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, Omicron hospital risk. Uh, Two thirds below Delta on a Scottish study. We're going to rip. If that study is going to get some action here, it's just going to go nuts. Uh, Love, I think, is Southwest. Banyan Hill, New Buy. Interesting. Let's see. Turned 4K into 25K, and you'll be able to avoid PDT. Now, that's a challenge. Nah, I'm going to treat, I'm going to, yeah, oh, $4 into 25K. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm in a cash account anyway, so it doesn't matter. There's just, I have so many other plays out there right now that it's like, I just don't have cash. I need to sell some stuff and I'm just waiting for these plays to play out. Like my Pfizer calls, they're down like 9%. Like, come on, stop playing with me. They were up like 100% the other day and I was like, that's fun, but no. All right, so GME down 0.65. Amy selling off a little bit here using that range as resistance here. We're gonna need to see a break. Spy coming down might test the 50 again before it goes for a new day high. Like button smash, says Tim. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. I need Roblox to pop off. It's the only thing. Pop off. It's the only thing that has me down today. Man, what's Roblox doing? Probably nothing. Nothing too crazy, huh? All righty. Look at ALLK. Ridiculous. Yeah. Let's see here. Can you check out BFRI, the MACD specifically? Yeah. On what time frame? What time frame do you want? Like the daily. I mean, it's looking good right now. I mean, it's curling back up, crossed. I mean, this would probably be the cross, the big cross right here, right before it starts to go up. Um, if we look on the daily chart, I mean, it's freaking going, man. I mean, I know that's an M Kriegs play, and that's nuts. Up three, it's up three percent today so far. Roblox. I don't like oops. I don't know why it did that. <laughs> Roblox up three. Not bad, man. Uh, Spy tested that 50 coming back up. What do we got for news? Uh, Ford April 23 call sweep about 1900 call uh, contracts. Ford getting a move on the call sweep. Little pop here on a call sweep. That's not bad. JT Wisco, thank you so much for the super. Your $4 account <laughs> just had a 100% rip to eight. Thanks for your efforts. Oh, one last thing. If any, if nobody's selling Amy, then how does, I'm guessing you say, how does it go down? It didn't go. I mean, I'm only, 
I mean, the contract's only at up 50 cents right now. Now it's, uh, yeah, it's up 12%. It's not terrible. Well, SV, I have the same spy 470. I was a little more dense and bought yesterday at 0.9. No, this is a joke. Like, this is literally a joke. SCV, sorry, I'm dyslexic. I accidentally hit the thumbs down. Nah, you're fine. Uh, yeah, so if nobody's selling, here's what's happening. I mean, some people are selling. So there is some selling volume from retail and people that aren't in this for the the like the like situation that we're in it for. And then there's shorting happening. So, I mean, there could be a decent amount of shorting, but with the shares going out on loan today, what is it? 17 million in volume on Amy. We don't know. Here's the thing. Let's do an Ortex update. We don't necessarily know the shares that like every day their shares going out on loan, but we don't know if they're getting sold into the market right away. Like there's only 260,000 shares that have been borrowed today. There's a net return of shares. Oh, wow. We just dropped to 18.93% estimated short interest. That seems a bit fake. Uh, okay. We also are going to be getting the exchange reported short interest for Amy. What's the day today? Tomorrow. We, I think we're going to get the exchange reported short interest tomorrow during the day. So that'll be pretty sweet. So we could see some big swings on. So what's the settlement date? It'll be November or December 14th. What we were, what were we trading at on December 14th? Twenty two. So the short interest that we could see on the exchange could be sky high. It could be over twenty. Uh, we are just joking with the spy. Yeah, literally, like this is me having fun, literally screwing around. Don't do this. This is me. It's I literally have a four dollar risk. Mark the realtor says Visa goes to two twenty five, and I send a five hundred dollars super. Thank you for that super, Mark. I appreciate it, man. Uh, let's go, Lucid, dude. You're crazy. What's Visa at right now? Two eighteen, dude. You, you got some ways to go on a lot of these contracts, but I think one of them is going to hit. Like one of them is definitely going to hit for you. Like what's Lucid doing right now? Lucid it came down a little bit from the, oh wait, this is on the daily. Uh, 39.96, up 5% on the day. Still strong. Uh, Amy down three to half, not doing terrible. Uh, let's see. Uh, I know I'm pulling the hipster card and saying I bought it before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. QS looks like it's going to turn around for another run. Quantum scaler. Oh, yeah, quantum, yeah. Yeah, could be. Richie, thanks for the super. I appreciate it. AMC breakout, 3015 end of day market. I'll be live for it, my man. Uh, let's get Pfizer back up here. How are we doing? Shitty. All righty. Let's see. What happened to Naked? Reverse split. If these joke 470s hit, I'll buy you a big chicken. They're not going to hit. Like, it's literally a joke. I'm going to try to flip them for like 10 bucks and then... And then YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. Like, that's literally what I'm going to be doing. Anyone on uh, Corsair? Uh, yeah, Meet Kevin's been... I think he was talking about Corsair Gaming recently. I mean, I think Kathy owns that one, too. All hail Kathy Wood and her Tesla games. Let's see. Yeah, also, shout out to all the new members that have been coming in. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for showing your support on the channel. You guys are great. Uh, I heard AA said in an interview that retail owns 90%. Okay, so what he said was that if oh, those funds, the ETS and the mutual funds and all these funds didn't like didn't have to buy AMC, um, or no, he said something like, since they have to buy AMC and they lock it up and they hold it for a while, then retail owns 90% of what's actually out there being traded on a day-to-day -day basis and not like being locked up and held by a lot of these like mutual funds and, and some of these index funds. Mark the Realtor, you're a wild boy. Thank you so much for another super. Disney goes to 160 and you'll send $500. You're crazy. What is Disney at right now? Dude, you're, if the market rips, dude, you're crazy. You're nuts. You're a wild person. You do not have to do that. Um, let's see here. Uh, what do we want? Pfizer back up. Let's see. Uh, that makes more sense. Yeah.
let's see. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Lucid above 42.50 is moon. Yeah, the thing about Lucid, like we were saying earlier, if it gets the hype, it'll go. What's Spy doing? Spy's hanging out around its 50 MA right now. We're probably in McChicken land or ramen land or negative land. We're in gumball land right now. Uh, Spain to reintroduce ob obligatory uh, face mask use outdoors. <clears throat> Why? We just got other news that said like, oh, uh, see, here's the thing. It's all a re okay. Spies bouncing up a little bit here. The whole thing with the new variant, it doesn't really have to do with like new cases. It has to do with like hospitalizations and what the countries are actually going to do. That's it. Like what are the new restrictions going to be? And what are the hospitalization rates? That's literally what the market's going to care about. So that's why we're not seeing everything tank right now by Spain coming out and putting out this mask mandate because it, every other piece of data is like, yeah, okay. McChicken is still here. Yeah, for you, not for me though. Bought my first 20 shares of Lucid at 6084 the morning before it crashed. Oh, was that when it was CCIV or was that when it was actually Lucid? Uh, now I have 100 shares at 32. There you go. Do you think SHIB is more legit than what? A lot of altcoins just recently had MACD cross on the daily looking at SHIB, ADA, and DOT. I mean, I'm not too deep into, crypt, uh, in, into crypto. I was swinging SHIB a little while ago. Stuart, we, I mean, we have to because it's uh, the only thing I'm talking about is how it affects the market. Yeah, hold on. Guys, when I make comments about the news that comes through, it's literally how it affects the market. So it only depends on like what the countries are actually going to do. And the market only cares about hospitalization rates because then that leads to more shutdowns. But they've also came out and said like, yeah, it's not going to happen. So uh, if I see anybody freaking out again about this in the chat, like yesterday, we're going to have some problems. Uh, my buying power is sub $1 in my cash account. I can't afford a ketchup packet. <laughs> Mine is now too. I mean, if I sell the, if I sell the spy, I mean, maybe I'll make a dollar 50. That'd be sweet. No, I'm still up. I'm up 50 cents. But the thing is, is I can't sell it for up 50 cents. It won't work. Uh, do you think SHIB move? Do you think the SHIB move is legit? It might. I mean, it, it, it could. I mean, I have it up over here. It's it's going to be a nice bounce. I think it has to do with a lot of people getting hyped. Up. Uh, it's coming down now. It's up 12 around 12 percent um let's see here yeah also guys this is going to essentially wrap up the morning stream um thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today let's see here i gotta do something real quick let's see what we got over here we've got tmi is live so as I leave, make sure you guys, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream on the way out. You guys have been super supportive recently of the channel. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will be back on today at 1.30 Eastern. We're going to start a little bit early today, and we're going to go until close. So here's the link to TMI stream. Make sure you guys go say hi, hang out with him um, until I come back. And then if you guys want to come back over here when I come back on at 1.30, you guys are always welcome to come back. But thank you guys for a fun morning. Let's hope AMC gets some boom, boom candles. And it'll be the reverse of what happened yesterday when I leave, when I left and we came down. Hopefully I leave and we rip. Um, the SPY did just break below that 50. Um, the, the trend reversal is going to be typically at the 100. Um, hopefully I get into McChicken land again and then maybe back into Big Mac land. That would be sweet. Um, Mark the Realtor, really hope you hit on all of those plays right there, man. You got a lot of, lot of good plays that could play out for you really good. Um, and everybody else, hopefully all your plays options shares everything you're making some money today and happy holidays to everybody i will be back on a little bit later peace